We're going to get started as soon as I get my tablet set up, everyone. Hello everyone, and welcome to the full playthrough of Secret Weapons over Normandy. This is a game made 20 years ago by LucasArts. Yeah, the same LucasArts that brought you Star Wars and Secret of Monkey Island and a whole bunch of other stuff, really good stuff. So to begin, I should explain the game's premise. You are a fighter pilot in World War II. Before the advent of lock-on missiles from Ace Combat, we had fighter pilots with machine guns. That's what we're going to be playing as. And we're also going to be playing through some of the most epic, important, and amazing battles in history. In order to fight off the empires of Germany and Japan. Now, I should mention, there are mentions of... Well, basically there are Nazis in this game. I'm going to let the intro play. Doesn't that look amazing? This is the era when jet fighters were first introduced. So we're going to be playing with a lot of prop planes. And you might be wondering what this game has to do with Star Wars. Well, I'll tell you. There is a secret unlock. I don't know how to do it. But in doing so, you get the TIE Fighter an X-Wing from Star Wars to fly around in World War II. Mm-hmm. This game also has two-player, which I'm not going to be able to show off, but it's basically a, di a big dog fight. So, with all that out of the way, let's begin the campaign. September 1st, 1939. Germany invaded Poland. This was the start of the Nazi Blitz in Europe. It engulfed the world in a war that caused great social and political turmoil. What follows is an accounting of evidence recently uncovered about the secret war the Allies fought against the German Reich and Japanese Empire during World War II. By May of 1940, the Allied leaders of Great Britain and the United States had witnessed the awesome power of Germany's resurrected war machine. They were shocked by the deadly efficiency of Germany's air force, the Luftwaffe. Except for England, all of Western Europe had fallen in quick succession to the enemy blitzkrieg. Undermanned and under-equipped, the Allies moved quickly to slow the Nazi military juggernaut. For this task, Prime Minister Winston Churchill authorized the creation of a secret organization called the SOE, the Special Operations Executive. Its mission was to undermine the German war effort and, in Churchill's words, to set Europe ablaze. To accomplish their difficult task, 
the SOE created a unique fighter squadron dubbed the Battle Hawks. Its mandate was to search out and destroy the terrifying secret weapons of the Luftwaffe. Pilots from war-ravaged Europe and even the United States came to England to volunteer their services. It was from this broad spectrum of aviators that the Battle Hawks would find its strength. In the coming years, the skill, dedication, and courage of these brave pilots would be tested to the fullest. This is their story. And as far as I know, this is all true. I haven't done any full-on research about it, but as far as I'm aware, uh, so far everything that's been said on that uh, movie has been 100% true. Now, real quick, I'm going to go back because I screwed up somewhere. Options. Okay, so it was Wasted Subtitles. Excellent. Take a good look. Notice how there's no missile fire? Now then, let's get the tutorials out of the way, shall we? Doing these tutorials is actually very beneficial to you. In doing so, you will be able to get requisitions. Requisitions are upgrades to your plane. There is a limited amount of requisitions, so any chance to get any more of them is always welcome. This is not an American fighter. That was my first thought when I sat into the low seat of this British crate they call the Hurricane. All I've heard about this plane is true as far as speed and performance go. But its wings are made of fabric as opposed to good old American metal. It takes some getting used to. I've been paired up with a pilot named Trevor. He likes to train all the new guys in the unit, but he seems like sort of a stiff-ass Brit to me. I just want to prove myself and get out there where I can make a difference. I'm scheduled for maneuvers with Trevor in just a moment. He's going to run me through basic flight and weapons training. Let's see if my aircraft holds up to how I fly. Speaking of Brits, I'll be right back. I'm going to go see if I can annoy Moss to join in our fun. Okay, Moss will be in here soon, people. So, until he is, let's go ahead and take care of this tutorial. Welcome to the hangar. This is where we can look over all the different planes that we have unlocked. Right now, we're stuck with the Huracan. So, we can have a look at the info of each and every plane. Now... Each and every plane in this game, aside from the TIE Fighter and the X-Wing, is a real plane concept that has either been prototyped or saw active duty. The Hurricane is the first monoplane fighter to be used by the Royal Air Force and the most often used fighter during the first two years of the war. It was equipped with eight machine guns, four on each wing. It accounted for more German aircraft shot down during the Battle of Britain than any other plane. You might be wondering, how is that possible? This plane's stats are garbage. It has super low armor, medium speed, pretty good handling, and average firepower. Well, let me tell you. The reason why the Hawker Hurricane was able to shoot down so many German planes 
was because it was so slow. The German planes would zoom on ahead and had, had, and had such a gigantic turning circle that the Hawker Hurricane could turn inside of their turn so that they would just line up while they were turning and shoot them down. That's why the Battle of Britain is also known as the Great British Turkey Shoot because they shot down hundreds of planes. Now then, the square button is the advice button. Let me introduce you to our lovable mechanic. The only aircraft we have for you is the Hurricane. When new planes become available, you'll find them here in the hangar. That's not the mechanic that I was thinking of. That's just the bloody awful mechanic. Okay, so. During the course of your campaign, you'll be able to make improvements to the planes in the hangar. These improvements are called field upgrades, and I'm the lucky soul that gets to do them. Before I can do any upgrades, you'll need a field upgrade requisition. Rourke will award you upgrade requisitions when your performance in a mission has been superlative. Each requisition authorizes me, the chief mechanic, to make one field upgrade. You select which field upgrade is done to which aircraft. Over time, I'll be learning new upgrades. I'll alert you when I've come up with something new. Indeed. So... The field upgrade system is really cool. It helps you personalize your planes, make them better. And if you have a plane that you really enjoy, you can make it unstoppable. Except the Hurricane. You can upgrade the armor, engine, and airframe twice. Or maybe three times? I'm not entirely sure. In order to get the most out of your aircraft, you will also eventually be able to upgrade the amount of ammo that your primary guns and your secondary weapons have. So, with that all said and done, let's get out there. We've got to destroy the balloons over the airfield. So, let's begin. Ah, so this game takes place in World War II. Yep. Oh, nothing like the RAF. This is the RAF, actually. Yeah. No, I do know. Okay, so. Duh. This is a more of an arcade shooter. That. Uh, They're barrage balloons. And right now I am flying a Hawker Hurricane. What are barrage blue balloons from me? I'm not entirely sure. Ow. I've seen these in uh I've seen these type of balloons in another game, but that was uh we have a few. Well, that, from what it looks like they are made to look like blimps. So, the X button allows me to change targets. Hey, you're playing another Ace of Combat game, aren't you? Nope, this is Secret Weapons Over Normandy. It's a plane game for sure, but it's not Ace Combat. Stalls are bad. Oh. Priority targets display on the outer ring with an insignia denoting friendly or enemy. Your closest airfield is also displayed on this ring. You can land and rearm at these locations when available. The center of this display shows the enemy and any wingmen close to you. That's weird. Barrage balloons were used against enemy aircraft, actually. Yep. 
they brought down 24 aircrafts. Yep. They're basically big old uh, things that they crash into. They're annoying more than anything else. Specifically for anyone who's not really trained. So, fun fact, this game was made by LucasArts, or at least published by them. The very same LucasArts that made the Star Wars Pod Racer game, and the Secret of Monkey Island games. Oh, well, we're on the topic of World 2, you know, I find it pretty funny. Um, yeah. Is the fake camps they'd use, and the, <laughs> the fake bomb. Yeah, the fake stuff. Oh god, the fake stuff they yeah, came what? up with in World War II was hilarious. Wait, what? Hold on. Give me some context real quick. Fake stuff would waste uh, enemy ammunition and was very helpful. There's also a story about, I don't know if it was American or British, but um, there was a story about a pilot dropping a fake bomb. <laughs> what was the target? Oh wait, I know why they did that. I know why they did that. It was to prove that they could hit the target. No, I, I believe it was like, I, I'm rough such as of now, but there is pictures of the, um, that fake bomb. Oh. That's real. Hold on. Here's a word or two on landing. First thing, you need to lower your flaps and gear. That's good. I can see your gear and flaps down. This tells the ground crew you're ready to land. The easy way and the hard way. So it's to the runway. It's an urban legend basically. It's an urban legend where you know the Germans how they used to build fake uh fake camps stuff like that. Yeah. It's a it's a joke where the oh, and military a, a fighter fake pilot bomb. A pilot dropped a fake bomb on a fake camp just to fuck with them. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but it's a urban legend kind of, so nobody knows if it's real or fake. I just realized next year it's been fucking soon. Next year it's been any year since the war has ended. German bomber? Poor guy. Let's go shoot him down. Wait, did you say 80 years? Yeah, 80 years. Next year? Yeah. Yep. You know what's weird? We're all gonna live to see a hundred years, boy. Like a hundred years past it. Kinda of weird when you think about it. Ooh, Stuka! That just made me. That made me uncannically feel old. What the fuck? Come here, Stukas! It's, it's kind of weird. You said 80 years since World War II was in it, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, next year. 80 years since World War II. Really? 80 years since the end of World War II. End of World War II. Yeah, the end. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Stuka, where'd you go? Kinda of weird that, you know. That's not the actual war. The actual war when it starts is already almost fucking eight. It's already 80 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. It's since 2019. It's weird though, you know, when you think about it, where you're like, oh shit, you know, I, I live long enough to see this reach as a 100th anniversary. Yeah, that feels weird. Dude, I was born at the right time to see the bloody Queen's, uh, what was it? The fucking Queen's Platinum Jubilee or whatever. What was whatever the, the bonus goal? I mean the shit went, that is supposed to be opened in fucking, in fucking 2080 or some shit? Creating what do you mean? a save file. Never mind then. Okay. There's actually, um, I remember listening to this story. Uh, I don't know, I found out somewhere online. Um, I think it was that somebody snuck into Buckingham Palace and basically met the Queen and was like very chill about it. 
What? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently scaled into Buckingham Palace and was like, yo, what's up? So what the fuck? Is it history? How does that even get past security? Because you can... I don't know, people... Because security isn't always, you know, tiny. This is not an American... Yeah, but still, though, it's I'm, the fucking living place I'm sorry for the for fucking queen. I'm sorry for redoing this tutorial mission, everyone. I just want to see what the hell the bonus goal was. Oh! Okay. Understood. I really apologize when you said you were going to show off everything you can. Yep. So, I got to destroy all the balloons over the airfield and destroy all the balloons in under two and a half minutes, so... My name's Trevor. Tick-tock, tick-tock. I also really enjoy this game for how it handled the uh, shooting mechanic. Not yet. Fire! Hey, See, back, back story, in this right? time, there is no missiles. No missiles. Here's a story. Michael Dragon, I don't know if I his name, was what in, snuck into Queen Elizabeth II bedroom. 1982. So this guy just snuck in a Buckingham Palace for no reason. I, mean, I can't stay away sometimes. And you all think the Florida man's crazy. Which, <laughs> granted, he is, but still. I don't think you've ever had anyone actually sneak into the White House. I I never think that was that one time, but that's political. Yeah, true. Was that actually the White House? I don't remember when everyone started storming that one area. Oh, Area 51? No, it wasn't Area 51, because, you know, people would have got shot when they were in there. But it was, um... Yeah, and if no mistake, it got off cancelled, too. It, no, it didn't, it... it didn't get cancelled, trust me. No, people didn't do it because they were going to get shot. No, people did do it. Anyway. It Absolutely. was, I don't know if it was the White House, but it was a political that area. And I think it was due to Trump's election or something like that. A bunch of his fans or oh, something. Oh, that thing. Primary goal completed. Come on, bonus goal. Come on, bonus goal. Bonus goal! Hell yeah. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, I understand the tutorial. Now hurry up and load the stupid plane so I can shoot it the fuck down. Good. All barrage balloons have been disposed of properly. Not too bad. Jeez, don't let your war criminal side take over. This is World War II. War crimes haven't been invented yet. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, I love how, you know... I love how Fizz said... And you said Florida man was crazy. <laughs> Trust me, there there is some crazy British people. There like is you? No <laughs> That was a nice one. Um no, but I was going on about that. I was, I was yes, going on about this uh, the... British I was going on about this British inmate, Charles the damn plane. Now, gently touch your plane down. You're quickly getting hang of the control. Here you go almost. Concentrate for me. Anyway, so one of UK's Britain's most notorious and dangerous criminals is Charles Bronson. This guy purposely fights the guards at prison. Hmm, that sounds lovely. Mr. Chase, we have more Stuckers making a surprise visit. Kindly dispose of them before you think of landing. Come here, Mr. Stuka. Bring them down, Chase. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. What's hilarious? What's I was on about UK's most notorious, notorious prick. Uh, notorious, notorious prisoner, Charles Bronson. And this is gonna sound a bit weird. This guy fought. This guy broke out of his cell, I think, and fought the guards naked. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? There is footage on it on footage of it online. <laughs> oh my god, it's fucking this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, what a mess. That's gonna be hilarious to watch. I can't. No, it's it's on the on Google somewhere. All right, so that bonus mission is complete. You know what? I'm gonna my god, give me is... like give me like. Give me like 30 seconds. I'm going to go and figure out a list of all the bonus goals so that I don't have to replay the missions all the time. Be right back, everyone. These are these, like, You've obviously never been smacked in the face by a frozen pizza. Okay. Information found. Information received. We're just, continue. we're just talking about how, you know, um... Sorry. He's such a Florida man, right? And then put your birthday in. I got Florida man throws deputies at... Throws Bible at deputies. What the fuck? And, uh... Right. Doom got... Pizza by battery. Battery by pizza. And you've obviously never been smacked in the face by a frozen pizza. It's worse than getting hit by a French baguette. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, okay. The worst pain uh, I've ever had was breaking my fucking wrist. That's okay. the worst pain I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Time to listen to the, the person talk. Well, the hurricane is a fine bird. Yeah, shut up. I didn't think it could compare to American engineering, but I like the feeling. Trevor says if I'm ready, he has a little cleanup assignment for me. I get the feeling he thinks I'm still too green. Who knows? Maybe it was the phrase, I think a yank can handle this one, that tipped me off. Apparently, there are some dangerous crates and barrels that need destroying. But target practice in this lady should be a pleasure. I like the fact that the Brits and the Americans are making fun of each other in this game. <laughs> All they doing, then? Uh, Moss, it feels just like home, doesn't it? Oh, it feels just like home. I don't get the joke here. So I could... I mean, same could also... Sorry. I could spend my requisition points on the hurricane, but to be honest, I think we're going to get another plane soon enough, so let's just do this. Ah, the bombs. Let's let the advice man take it away. Bomb would be a wise choice. Bombs are your only choice. The oh, two... did they really give the American a British plane? Yes, because the American volunteered to come over to Britain and help the RAF fuck up the German Nazis. Are we to be much sure we're going to fuck up them. <laughs> oh, my Scottish I agree, that much, a bunch of morons. What are you talking about? The Americans helped a lot. 
Yeah, I don't know, but otherwise it's just about war on the Americans. You gotta, okay. The Britain American helped, like, Britain and America helped a lot. Um, so I want to say this now, America, they, they, they had their hands full. They were fighting two, well, two different wars at the time. Two enemies at the same time, yes. Okay. Two enemies at the same time. And they won, unlike Germany, who got fucking squashed yeah. like a bug. Something I really liked uh, watching, kind of, was... So there's, like, fake history, like, of what happened if Britain yeah, lost yeah. the... Because we... I, I think it was the only the RAF that basically held off. Why did you just go something quite like that, Moss? Because I don't know what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> this is called dive bombing. Why don't you just do a suicide bomb? Because I want to keep in the air. But fuck it. Okay, that came out wrong. Let's see here. Yeah, because uh, for some reason, Mr. Mustache Man was not a big fan of the Brit, <laughs> the Brits in World War Two. The bomb whistle is so good! I love it! Listen! <laughs> I love that sound. Let's have a little fun with the dive bombing. Oh, yeah, it is. A little bit of a history fight Oop. for you, Anne. You didn't work in. I forgot how close to the ground I was. Um, fun fact. Breton would have never really got involved in the war if, um... Mr. Mustache Man didn't invade an area. No, that's not that's not true. That's why it was. Mm mm. Two hundred yeah, thousand see... British two hundred thousand British troops were already on the field in France before Mr. Mustache Man decided to go fuck up the uh fuck up uh the Netherlands. It wasn't Netherlands, it was Belgium or something. Wait, what are you on about this? I'm saying that there were 200,000 British troops on the ground in France before Mr. Mustache Man decided to invade the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. In order to get around the... In order to get around the... In order to get around the... Fuck. I had the name in my head and then you guys spoke. The... Which which year was it in? World War II. 1940s. 1939. Anyways, uh, in uh, in the beginning, of 1940, and Germany took out for the Netherlands because the bombing of Rotterdam. Trust me, that shit was fucking chaotic with the fucking wreckage. But it's weird though, because one of the main reasons Britain did get involved is because you know they invaded this place. The reason they did it is because you know they thought Britain wouldn't care about some really old treaty they had. There's a lot of the British did. There's a lot of reasons why Britain and France went to war with uh, Germany. Just a lot that we really can't cover overall in this video. There's so many reasons why. But the simplest one I, the simplest one I got for was Mustache Man wanted to invade area. Britain had really little treaty, and Britain was like, nah. It. Looks like that was the worst mistake the Germans made. No, it's not. The worst yeah, mistake true. they made that was invading Russia in the winter. You mean the Soviet Union? I said Russia. Although it is the same country, technically. Yes, it's so the same the damn thing. Yeah, sorry, I'm just a fucking history guy. <laughs> it <laughs> it doesn't so help. Uh, it, how it was back in the day. <laughs> it, it really doesn't help, though, during the end of the war. Mussolini did, you know, get a die. No, he didn't die. He just got, uh, kicked out of his own Fuck. party. He, he died eventually. He got shot by some soldiers. Oh my 
right, guys. Yeah, great. Can you tell me where the fuck my targets are? Call them. Patience is key. There you are. Sweet Jesus. How do I say that and I can't do that for shit and straw, which is important? <laughs> Yes. Because we are capable fighter pilots, I can slow down time. I forgot about that. Or speed it up in order to get to farther targets quicker. And bombs away. That's Here's uh, another fun fact. I don't know if it was World War Two. I think it was World War Two. But the um, actor of Count Dooku used to be used to used to serve in uh, one of the wars. Real? Yeah, Wait, that he means was. That, uh, my, that means that my guy was like in his sixties. No, um, in his 70s when he played Count Dooku. Because you know how he played, you know how he did the Lord of the Rings, right? No. Yes. I do not recall because I've never seen Lord of the Rings. Anyway, so he was that's speaking to the director cool. about, he was speaking to the director and he was like, you know, that's not how you sound when you stab somebody. Alright, anyways. Now, let's try something a little harder. Harder, you say? That's why. Oh, if they're making new version of GT after Super, that's gonna go wild. about there come on bullseye bullseye what yeah well I'm surprised you didn't know Christopher Lee you know served in World War two yeah I didn't I honestly don't believe it being perfectly honest he, uh, Christopher Lee did did serve in World War two but he served in the winter Hold on, he was man. a part of the SAS is that the same operation Sledge works for in Siege? It's... Yes, it's British. Uh, wait, hold on. Is... Wait, Kanduko's actor and nationality is British? I didn't know that. Christopher... Christopher Lee, yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> is that bad that I didn't know that? <laughs> okay. I don't have enough bombs to blow up those tanks, so I'm just gonna go for the recon car. <laughs> Panzers. <laughs> I into the sky. For it and dive. We have an armored column heading for the east bridge, requesting assistance. 
Enemy tanks destroyed. Roger that. Assistance headed to the east bridge. I already destroyed them. That's two more requisition oh, yeah. points. Let's not save. It's already been almost an hour and I'm still in the fucking tutorials. Trevor likes to push buttons, just like my dad. But I get the feeling he does it in a friendly, let's see what you're made of kind of way. You'd almost think he was an American flyer with the amount of grief he gives me. The Germans have been getting increasingly curious about what's going on in the skies above Dunkirk. Um, fucking bar. Trevor ordered me to engage any German planes that I encounter on patrol. He's assigned me to lead a veteran out on this sortie. Something about if the American is to command others, he must learn restraint. I take it back. Trevor's not good enough to be an American flyer. Far too English. Ha! Did you hear that, Moss? Trevor's not good I enough. Hope so. Trevor's not good enough to be an American flyer. He's far too English. <laughs> As I said, Trevor will show him. No, James Chase is the main character. He's the American. He's who I'm playing as. Oh yeah, I know. So when did this game come out? 2003. In a fight, your wingmen are your most valuable resource. No, they're not. Now keep in mind that you can only give orders to a craft that is assigned to your command. I've ordered Lieutenant Dadigan to be your wingman for this exercise. He'll follow your orders, meaning you are responsible for his life as you are in command. I don't think I've ever given a wingman order outside of this mission. I was sent out on patrol and I'm right on top of these balloons. I'm requesting permission to engage. All right, then. Issue the attack my target command to Lieutenant Dadigan. The attack my target command causes your wingmen to attack the target you currently have selected. Copy. Moving to intercept your target. Once the selected target is destroyed, your wingmen will return to your side for further orders. Look at that, he can't shoot down the fucking balloon. I did, and he can't fucking do it. This is the one I usually use. When your wingmen are under such an order, they fly far and wide over the combat zone. Therefore, you may seldom see them. Your wingman is awaiting your target at will order. Roger that. Engaging enemy. <laughs> Dadigan, while I patrol the area across the river from Dunkirk. 
Remember, you're not alone. <laughs> Affirmative. Let's go. I love the speed up function. Now then, we're almost in my sights. I see them. Uh, Dad again. Dad again. I told you to go take on the. Okay, fine. I'll go take on these Stukas. an inferior plane. One more to go, Chief. Yep, and it's mine. Don't shoot me, I'm on your side. Then don't fly into my firing pattern. Finally get out of the tutorial after an hour. But you've been in the tutorial for how long? I've been in the tutorial for about 45 minutes. How? How? I don't know. Let's just save and move on, please. Here, I thought this game was going to take about six hours to beat. At this rate? DDM. At this rate, I might be here. Oh, Jaguar Multi first. At this rate, I might be here for nine hours, if not 12. All right. That sounds lovely. Yep. I hope you guys stick around. So, let's start yeah, the yeah, first sure. mission. I have no school tomorrow, so I'm fine with that, maybe. <laughs> oh, that's oh, right. No it's free it. break. Yay. Well, I don't have exactly spring break, like a vacation, nah. but tomorrow I have no school. I'm leaving the kooky old man. No, don't leave. Because oh, we're not just right now, I mean... Because we're just about I have to get, get to go to downstairs in a bit, probably for food. Oh yeah, I'm not leaving now, I'm just saying, I'm not staying here for nine hours. <laughs> I'm crazy, but not that crazy. There's a reason you're called crazy king. We're Kings. all mad here. <laughs> Okay, first, first mission. Hey, you set yourself up for that one. First mission. May 26, 1940. I'm finally in Europe with the Royal Air Force, right in the thick of things. There's quite a motley collection of pilots from all over, eager to fight the Luftwaffe. One pilot in particular stands out from the rest. He's a Brit named Trevor. I hope to learn a lot from him, if I can get past his upper-class smugness. Across the Channel in France, though, things are going very badly. German forces have surrounded the Brits at Dunkirk and threatened to capture the lot of them. To avoid this disaster, the entire British force must be evacuated. Ships from all over England have been assembled to bring the troops home. Our squadron is going into action today to keep the Luftwaffe away from the evacuation ships. German ground forces are also on the move, tightening the noose. We'll have our hands full, as time is in short supply. The evacuation of Dunkirk was one of the most impressive uh, stunts ever pulled off in the war. Civilian ships went across the channel to bring the boys home. What, what the fuck is this random ad on fucking Reddit? What the fuck? Your mic is starting to crackle, my guy. It might just be Mountain Place, though. 
The only aircraft we have. All right. Tunes. I have, have a lot of voice cracks. Bring our hurricane. Our primary objective, stop the Stukas from destroying the transports. Secondary objectives, take out the recon squadrons. Come on, I'm slower than you. F-109 fighters engaging. Come on, I shot you down. I'm going to restart from the checkpoint. Indiana, links oben! Sie muss der Zerstörer angefordert haben! Luftwaffe B hier von der Seite! Geben Sie uns Feuerschutz! Wir laufen ein!
Come on, let me get in a shot on those things. Bien joué, you've done it. Brothers confirm all Stukas and BF-109 have been shut down. We've most certainly given them a thrashing today, but it's not over yet. I don't expect them to give up quite so easily. We'd better land at the airfield and rearm. Understood. It will appear we have a moment for introduction. My name is Cedric. I'm grateful for your assistance in these desperate times. Weiter vorrücken! Wir müssen die Brücke nehmen! Scouts report large groups of Panzers converging on each of the three bridges into Dunkirk. Take out the bridges before the German forces cross. The ground crews have loaded your planes with 250 pound bombs. They should neutralize tanks if you're accurate. All right, I'll take the south bridge. Chase, on the east or west bridge. Land on the airfield any time to have my crew rearm your aircraft. All right. Yes, but that will take precious time. So don't miss your targets, dear boy. Achtung, Achtung! Wir brauchen Luftunterstützung! A group of Stukas is heading towards the east defensive line. Panzer Colonna. Bereit zum Angriff auf die britischen Bodentruppen. Für die Heimat! Scouts have spotted a group of recon cars crossing the East Bridge. Stop them if you can. Fine marksmanship, Chase. One bridge down, two to go. Okay, let's just shoot this guy out. That's bonus goal number one completed. More German reconnaissance cars approaching from the west. If you can manage it, straight those cars and give the crowd some ventilation. But don't let them divert you from stopping the Panthers. Aye, aye. This should be a piece of cake. It's another bonus goal, too. Scratch the south bridge. I'm headed for the west bridge. One more bridge. Hurry, Chase. We don't have much time. Schieß auf die Flugzeuge! Sie zerstören die Brücken! Auf der letzte Brücke sammeln und rüber! Schnell! Brücke sichern! Nichts wie rüber! Schnell! All German recon cars destroyed. Good work. I never know what they were up to now, but I don't think we really cared to be chased. All I need to do is blow up the West Bridge and we're done. Yep. Oh, I gotta destroy the AA guns? I wasn't informed of this. Even though you're a Yankee, you've proven yourself worthy to fly in the Royal Air Force. 
Hold that thought. There are more one on eyes inbound. I count four of them. Chase, I know these chaps. They're from a special squadron of veteran pilots. They won't be as easy as the last bunch. You may fight well against inexperienced pilots. But you don't stand a chance against the best in the Luftwaffe. What happened to you? We've been waiting for a good fight all day. What kept you? British courage. We'll get you killed. Krieger, an Allen Nemesis machine. Attacker! German arrogance. It'll get you a flying lesson. Chase, don't give them any opportunities. Conserve ammo and keep to their tails. I've heard of Krieger. He's one of Germany's most skilled and deadly pilots. Meet Nemesis, Nemesis Squadron. They are our foil. They are the best of the best from Germany. The ace of aces in Germany. And Krieger leads them. He's the best. At least in Germany. For now, though, I'm going to go complete a secondary goal and blast these AA guns. I'm going to leave for a bit. I'll be back later. Okay. Alright. That is a secondary goal. There's two of them over here. And one more. Oh, for God's sake. Piss off. Would you piss off? I don't want to shoot you down yet. I've got stuff to do. Just want to go and blow this thing up. So piss off. <sighs> Probably gain some altitude. And he's coming back again.
I don't know if I can. I might actually fail this because of this asshole. Yep, he's chasing me again. Piss off! Medals. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I think they may give you requisition. Not sure. However, we've completed all primary goals, all secondary goals, and gotten the bonus goals too. Let's continue. After the surrender of France, Hitler began a vicious and sustained assault on England. In the first phase of the attack, the German Luftwaffe sought to gain air superiority over England by crushing the Royal Air Force. As the Battle of Britain raged in the skies above southeastern England, the Battle Hawks were put to the test. Luftwaffe commanders wasted no time in enlisting the talents of an elite squadron of top German pilots. Like their allied counterparts, this group flew the most advanced aircraft and received specialized training. The Battle of Britain would mark the first meeting between the Battle Hawks and the deadly Luftwaffe unit known as Nemesis. Now we get into challenges. We can dogfight Trevor over the Dover Cliffs, and if we win our dogfight, we win his Spitfire. you're made of he says taunting me with the promotion to spitfire duty trevor wants to see if i have what it takes to bring him down he's had the mechanics rig up my hurricane and his supermarine spitfire with paint rounds for a simulated dogfight as far as i know he hasn't put forth this challenge to anyone else 
so I wonder what he has in store for me. I like the challenge, and I can't wait to remove that smug smile from his face. It's best two out of three, and I plan on taking him in the first two. <laughs> That's our bonus goal. We cannot Say, let him... I know you're always worried about running out of ammo. Who wouldn't? I've solved this problem by doubling the capacity of your primary weapon magazines. So hold down that fire button and plug away. One of the most important upgrades has been unlocked. We can now double the size of our magazine. I think I'll... Eh. Let's see if we can shoot him down. Oh please, you're already down to half. I've been on your tail this entire time. Wipe that smugness off your face. Pew. Very well, as you request. Single hit on mine. You're down, Trevor. That Spitfire's mine. 69 hits left. Nice. Come back here. It's about halfway over. Uh-oh. How come you don't slow down time too? You'd be able to catch me. I win. Yay! We've unlocked the British Spitfire.
Hell yeah, I'm gonna save. That was good. Let's get into the hangar. I want to check out this new plane of ours. A new plane has been added to the hangar. The British Spitfire. Has slightly more handling and firepower than the, than the Hurricane. Powered by the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, the Spitfire proved itself against the BF-109s during the Battle of Britain. Ah. Oh, the Spitfires and the Hurricanes are the ones in the Battle of Britain. Okay. Two cannons were paired with four machine guns for greater firepower. 20,000 Spitfires in 40 different variations were built, more than any other British aircraft. The new field upgrade is complete. Your aircraft has been modified with the upgrade you request. Your aircraft has been modified with the new field upgrade is complete. Behold, our new plane. More speed, more armor, more handling, and more firepower. Let's get to mission two. We join the Battlehawks. Mission two, Alder Tag. Report to the Battlehawks airfield. Defend nearby towns and coastal radar installations from German bombs. August 13th, 1940. Trevor is more than just another RAF pilot. During the Dunkirk mission, I shot down a German pilot called Krieger. I'd never heard of him, but Trevor was impressed. As a result, he invited me to join a special outfit called the Battlehawks that he's been recruiting pilots for. He couldn't say much about this unit, except that it was very hush-hush and did special operations. To be honest, I was a bit skeptical until he mentioned they have the best people and they fly the best aircraft. He got me with the best people line, even if it is some silly, top-secret organization. I'm on my way to the Battlehawks airfield. The Luftwaffe is expected to hit us hard today. They're targeting RAF airfields and several installations that use a new aircraft detection system called radar. The Brits have cooked up this new technology for seeing where the Luftwaffe is attacking. The word is the Krauts are coming, coming in droves. The Huns are over the airfield. Get out there to the AA gun while I get your plane ready. Primary goal is one hangar survives. However, the bonus goals are if we shoot down more planes than Lyle and both hangars survive. We're going to want both hangars to survive to make the next part of the mission even easier. So let's begin. Welcome to the Battlehawks. I'm Lyle, the squadron mechanic and general handyman around here. I'll get you settled in here since it's your first day and everything. Back. Welcome back. Yeah, it looks like the Wi-Fi isn't fucking around this time. It's an air raid. Keep your head down. We've got to get to those AA guns or they'll destroy the airfield. <laughs> Take the new bloke and cover it with the AA gun while we get our birds in. Anyway, just friends and me and fight on the Xbox, so I'm going to join him if that's okay. I might join him back later. And then if you're already done by that time with the stream, of course. Boom. 
boom. Stuka! Forget the fighters, focus on the Stukas! Don't let them bomb your airfields! Duca. They're Germans, of course they don't fucking quit. Yay, both hangers lived. Well, well, I'm not too proud to say you've outdone me in kills. Yay! To seeing how you dog fight. This respite won't last long. Get your britches into a plane. Chase, get to the hangar. Now, real quick, I'm going to use the emulator to make a save state here. All right. So the sec, the bonus goals for this mission are. Let me just double check here. We must not allow half of New Romney or two radar stations to be destroyed. Glad to see you made it up, Chase. Better late than never. Follow my lead, both of you. We're going to scout around the coast and look for trouble. This is Spyglass One. Two groups of bombers are heading for the towns of Hyde and New Romney. Spyglass One, this is Commander Rourke. We're on the job. Keep these channels clear unless you have new contacts to report. Chase, Trevor, stay close and be smart. We can't afford to lose either of you. Our squadron is down there, along with a lot of civilians. We have to stop those bombers. British Flugzeuge, aufpassen! Wir stören Sie die Gradestation!
Take them all down. Bang, 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 bang. Bang! Get over here. Flying away from me. In that case, yeah, right there. Sounds good. I love fighting Stukas. Come hither. Can't let them get any closer to the shore. I love the slow down time thing. Stukas. to go and protect New Romney. Come here, I'm gonna shoot you down.
Good. This BF-109 is mine. Good. Trevor said we should pluck him from the Eagle Squadron. I'd have to say his recommendation was a good one. You fly well and keep a cool head. Those traits keep you alive. More Jerry's on approach to this airbase. Get our planes in the air. We're off the deck. Like before, aim for the Stukas. I'm glad that a collision doesn't instantly cause you to die. Even though it is kind of silly. More Stukas! Anybody got a can of raid? Shooting these pests down is getting annoying. Understood. I think I did this on my first try. It's good. Bring this Jerry down now, shall we? Die, Kraut! Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I think that's the lot of them. We've surely deposited enough scrap on the airfield for Lyle to keep us in business till doomsday. <laughs> Junkas. Ju88. Those are some of Germany's best bombers. Yes. Waste no time in shooting them from the skies. And watch out for their tail gunners. Junkas. We must the bomber shoot. Greifen Sie die britischen Flugzeuge an. Ich kümmere mich um den Amerikaner. Ignore the BF109. Shoot down all the bombers you can. Do not let them get over the towns or the radar stations.
Excellent. Let's mop up these fighters, boys. Aye, aye. It looks like I've succeeded. Half of both towns and both the hangars have survived. That was fun. All right, chaps. That's enough fun for today. Let's head home. Aw, do we have to? <laughs> We've completed all secondary goals and been promoted to second lieutenant. We've gotten five requisition upgrades and the new plane, the Yonkas JU-88. One of the most dangerous planes that was in the sky at the time. Sadly, we will not be allowed to fly the Junkers in, uh, in every, uh, in missions. Well, we will for one. You'll see. Here's our bonus goals. I can't believe I actually completed that in one go. That's annoying to do. After the intense aerial campaign over England, the next phase of the German assault called for a seaborne invasion of the British Isles. Codenamed Operation Sea Lion, it was a bold plan to invade and seize control of Britain. Through an elaborate intelligence network established by the SOE, the launch date of the invasion was confirmed to be October 1st, 1940. This left the British precious little time to prepare for a strategic defense of their shores. To prevent the assault, the Battlehawks were ordered to sabotage the invasion fleet. They would send one of their newest and most daring pilots, James Chase, behind enemy lines in a captured Luftwaffe plane. His goal? To stop the German invasion dead in the water. I'm not sure if James Chase is a real person or if these missions are real, but the planes are for sure. Another challenge. Ooh, two of them. We should get uh, practicing with the bombing techniques of the Junkas. We salvaged one of the German bombers I took down during the last attack. It's quite interesting to look at the enemy's planes from the inside and learn a bit about how they fly. Lyle, the chief mechanic for the Battlehawks, has something in mind for this bomber, but won't tell me what quite yet. Suffice it to say, he thinks I might be able to handle the Junkers. He set up some land and sea targets that he wants me to destroy while flying that German beast. Accuracy is what I'm looking for here, was his final remark. I think I can hit a few planks of wood. This should be easy. Let's get started. Chase, have a look. There's a new aircraft in the hangar. We won't be keeping this one for well, long, sir. Chase, there's also a new weapon in the hangar. A new weapon? You'll be taking the Junkers 88 bomber that I've finished patching up. Just so you don't think I'm sending you on a suicide mission, I'll be joining you aboard to have a look at how she flies. 
The Junkers U88 was one of the Luftwaffe's most versatile aircraft. The twin engine plane saw service as a dive bomber, night fighter, recon aircraft, torpedo bomber, and cast ground attack. Its armament included two machine gunners, a pilot operated machine gun, four forward facing machine guns in the nose, and some even had tail gunners. Look at that. That's dare that is scary. And we can't upgrade this plane. So don't bother trying. Chase, the JU-88 is a bomber. You'll be using it as such. So bombs are the order of the day. It's... Chase, the JU-88 is a bomber. You'll be using it as such. So bombs are the order of the day. If you want something else, go find another mechanic. <laughs> Right, though. Okay. We've got to make sure this tub is ready for action. I'll be riding along in the rear gunner position to see if I've wasted my time on this heap. We'll see if you have the grit to handle this old girl. She's bloody ugly, but a workhorse nonetheless. My crew has positioned a variety of bomb targets over land and sea. Since we'd like to use this plane in combat, I need to know if you can hit them in this damn jerry-built monstrosity. Aye, aye, Lyle. If you can bust all the targets in under four minutes, I'll give you a plane upgrade. Dive that... straight and steady at your target and keep it lined up in the bombing crosshairs. If you want to hit it, that is. And counting. Bombs away. Civilian structures below. Be extremely accurate when you drop your bombs. Amazing what a little elbow grease can do. This thing performs better now than it did when German mechanics worked on it. What do you mean, no? I hit that sucker dead on. You saw it. Yeah, 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 restart.
That's a good hit. My work sure got this baby breathing again, didn't it? She's doing well. Okay. What the hell was that? No. Dive straight and steady at your target and keep it lined up in the bombing crosshairs. If you want to hit it, that is. You know what they say? A messy hit is still a hit. I said. Three minutes and counting. Civilian structures below. Be extremely accurate when you drop your bombs. Amazing what a little elbow grease can do. This thing performs better now than it did when German mechanics worked on it. You sure were not cross-eyed? You were way off with that one. The hell I was! Game, seriously, what the hell? Easy peasy. Bonk. Target acquired. Performing dive bomb. Bombs away. Oh, come on! And keep it lined up in the bombing cross 
says. If you want to hit it, that is. You know what they say? A messy hit is still a hit. But you Here we go again. Damn straight. I'll schedule you for a plane upgrade whenever you like. Finally. This old bird is as ready as I can make her. And you're in good form, old chap. Fly us back to the airstrip. I'll get her outfitted for the mission while you get some rest before your big night. All right. The bonus goal in that one was to blow up the sub, by the way. I double-checked, and I think there's 15 missions. Not counting challenges, of course. A 
I should check to see if the chat's screwed up again. Oh, hey, Lucas. I hope you're still here. I'm sorry I didn't get to you. Lucas, John, I'm sorry that I didn't see your messages. YouTube just decided not to show them to me for some reason. Alright, so, I'm going to save the challenge here for later. You know, when I need them. September 28th, 1940. It turns out Nemesis was behind the attack on the Battle Hawks airfield. Nemesis is quite a nasty bunch, but they should have let sleeping dogs lie. I'll be gunning for them from now on. I'm about to go on my first special operation. It's no easy task, as it only involves stopping the German invasion of England. Lyle, the Battle Hawks' first-rate chief mechanic, salvaged a crashed German Ju-88 bomber I'd shot down. I'll use it to sneak in and sink the German troop transports moored at their docks along the French coast. I'm also supposed to assist some French partisans. They're going to take over an airfield for us to rearm at during the operation. So this will be fun. I've been working round the clock to piece together this mess of a Jerry bomber you shot down. Did you have to put so many holes in it? Sorry. Well, I've worked some of my magic and it's ready for the mission. You've heard the plan. You're gonna sneak across the channel in this Ju-88 and give the Jerry's a surprise. <laughs> the German invasion fleet is the target of this mission, so I've loaded up your plane with all the bombs it can carry. Once they're gone, I recommend that you ditch the bomber as soon as possible and grab a plane that's a bit more agile. For this mission, you're gonna to want to bring as many bombs that are powerful as you can. So I'm going to bring the medium bombs instead of the large ones. Okay, so. Our objectives are to destroy all the landing craft, capture the reserve field, destroy all the hangars, and let's see, what's the last one? Ah, yes. Make sure one British destroyer survives. We'll find out what that means later. Black as can be out there, isn't it, Chase? Remember, Rook may have let you fly, but I still outrank you. So be smart and don't get us into any unnecessary trouble. I won't. Peter S. Ripley and Cameron to Black Jerry. Come in, over. Black Jerry here. We are receiving you. We're on station, proceeding to Wet Grave. Confirmed. Over. There's the Ju-88 group and their fighter escort. Slipping in with this group should get us past their coastal defenses. Excellent. We've been spotted. Don't get edgy. Fighters will give us a once over, then leave us be. Come see them here. See us? What? Whatever you do, don't keep that handed. Your German isn't very convincing. With any luck, they'll assume our radio is out. Der Geist kehrt zurück. Ich dachte, Fritz wäre tot. Er sieht nicht gut aus. Ja, sein Funkgerät muss ausgefallen sein. I think they bought it. Now, keep your distance. But don't appear to try and keep your distance. Just by casual. Wait for it. Just follow them back in. We're approaching the coastline. The sea base should be coming into view. I dare say they have more transports than we do bombs. We'll definitely need to rearm to sink them all. Hmm. The reserve airfield is northeast. French partisans will be waiting to capture it for us. Bonadex, wir verlassen sie jetzt. Wiedersehen. The fighters are peeling away to land. Wait until we're past the coast before we attack. Hier ist Junkers Dollar 6. Ich bitte um Landeerlaubnis. They're moving to land. We can divert northeast to the reserve airfield, or we can attack to try and catch them off guard. We can cripple that bomber airfield by leveling the hangars. Destroy all the fighter and bomber hangars that you can. So, 
I am going to make a save state here. That's not, actually. Okay, prepare for bombing run. Bring her back around again. Ow. Ow. You stop that.
Alright, let's make sure YouTube isn't screwing it up again. Nope, looks like it ain't. Oh shit. I need to get a little more distance before I shoot that tower. Okay, that should be plenty. Let's try it again. Okay. Here we go. Now we book it towards the other hangars. We've got 109 coming in. Let's go nose to nose with them. Let's not. Piss off. Piss off. Mm. 
you know what? Screw it. Come here. Got plenty of health. You may be faster than me, but I can turn in on your on your turn and shoot you down like this. That should be a bonus goal in and of itself. Shoot down a BF-109 with a fighter. Shoot down a fighter aircraft with a bomber. Take out this Akak. -ak. Achievement unlocked. Bombing a bomber. <laughs> All right. Let's use our bombs wisely here. I want to take out those destroyers and then make my way to the other airfield. Because there's nothing in the sky to hinder us anymore. farther. That should be high enough. Alright. Time to turn back around and sink this thing.
Okay. I might be too weak to do this. Certainly hope not. I'm gonna wait for them. The only thing we've got left to do now is to take out the. Bu I'm already out of bombs. Let's bring the small bombs. Let's take out those ACADs. Okay. And... Bonk. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm gonna go take out this destroyer before it causes trouble for any of our own.
Germans would seem to have a liking for me. They continue to fire at my plane. How? Wherever that was on there is a horrible shot. Looks like there are no other destroyers in the area. So, once we destroy this one, our destroyers will be safe. And I got four bombs to do that with. So, let's see what kind of chaos I can cause here. Now then. Easy pickings for these landing craft. No problem. Target them all at will. I just want them sunk. And that's that. That's basically the mission done at this point. They're scattering their ships out to sea. We don't have much time. If we don't get them now, they'll escape in the darkness. Our destroyers can't stop them all. The rest will be left for us to finish. I need more bombs. And quickly. Okay, time for more medium bombs. Oh god, they're all coming out at once. Stop them dead in the water. Congratulations on a job well done, Blackhawks. Bonus goals completed. We're withdrawing immediately. I suggest you do the same. 
Hey, I got a new plane. Welcome aboard. We've completed all the goals. We've also unlocked the swordfish and the Messerschmitt BF 109. With Hitler's invasion of England now indefinitely postponed, the center of conflict shifted to North Africa. In February of 1941, General Erwin Rommel was sent to take charge of the German forces there. This move was significant, as control of North Africa would put the Nazi regime within reach of the vast oil fields of the Middle East. The SOE learned of Rommel's impending arrival from their double agent codenamed the White Rose, they devised a plan to prevent the new German commander from ever reaching Africa. For this dangerous assignment, the Allies would again turn to their elite squadron of international pilots, the Battlehawks. To the challenges! All right. Eagle Squadron, made of American black meat and joined the RAF, has been given the task of eliminating enemy fighter patrols in the area. The Eagles have issued the Battle Hawks a friendly challenge. Our mission isn't too difficult. Just find German 109s and send them screaming down to earth in a heap of flaming metal. Well, maybe those weren't Commander Rourke's exact words, but I like the sound of it better. Hello, Hans. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping in. We're playing Secret Weapons Over Normandy. A game from 2003. I've made three new upgrades available. Each one adds a second level of improvement to the armor, airframe, and engine upgrades. Use these to improve the damage protection, handling, and speed of your plane. I think you'll be happy with my latest improvement. I can now double the capacity of your bomb rack by selecting this new upgrade. Bombs away! <laughs> in addition to that, there's also a new type of ordnance in the hangar. Your choice. They're all ready and waiting. Sadly, I can't pick my new BF-109. Otherwise, I absolutely would. Anything you choose, I'll put on your plane. Begin. Eagle one to Hawk leader. Come in, over. This is Hawk leader. My eagle eyes have spotted German planes at 12 o'clock. You take the fast movers and eagles will bring down the bombers? All right, then. Let's give them a nasty one-two punch. Rourke, is the friendly competition still on? Yes, that again. I'm back here. Britische Flugzeuge im Anflug. Wir müssen die Bomber schützen. Don't worry, we'll One that one more down hit.
bang, 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 bang. Ten. Let's make it well, 11 to 11 now, I suppose. But we're still gonna win. dominating them at this point. Come on, Eagles, is this the best you got? Woo, that was close. Bye, Mr. 109. Bang, 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 Hey, <laughs> 24 to 21. That was fun. Next mission. All right. We should probably get in the swordfish training. Toomey, one of my new buddies, is headed out into Swordfish to investigate reports of German subs scouting the coastline. I can go it alone, Yank, is what he told me. But I think I'll tag along since he needs a challenge. Toomey also said he'd show me the ropes on using torpedoes. Personally, I don't think I need any training with him, but I never could pass up flying. To spice up our little outing, I challenged Toomey to see who can sink the most U-boats. <laughs> The swordfish is a piece of work.
It's an antique at this point. This mission requires the swordfish. Toomey will fill you in on how to use it for torpedo attack. It's amazing these old string bags are still flying, much less using combat. The swordfish, the string bag, was used as a torpedo bomber and performed anti-submarine duties. It's played a very key, very big, important role in sinking the major German battleship, the Bismarck. The canvas-covered British biplane came equipped with a rear gunner and a single forward-firing gun. This thing was used all the way back in World War I. Nowadays, well, in World War II, it was used as a torpedo plane because the fabric would eat up the shots and the plane would still fly. I'll be loading up your swordfish with torpedoes. No choice today. Torpedoes are finicky little buggers. The torpedo had to be dropped from no higher than 150 feet below speeds of 150 miles per hour and would need 250 feet in order to arm the warhead. And even then they wouldn't work all the time. <sighs> I'm Tommy, the Battlehawk's resident expert on the swordfish torpedo play. Too late. Your best chance for success is to come in low. Level and not too far before you release your pistol. If the target is stationary, set your sight on its calling tower on the boat deck. Then set this your best bet for a clean hit. Good enough shot. Uh, I might have missed that one. Ooh, I actually nailed it. And this should be good. Yeah, he's going to run right into that one. Lining up the shot, and... There. Did you steal my kill? Asshole. That was my kill. So I just realized how long this game actually is, and I might be forced to split it into two parts. Those 
patrol boats are heading towards the base. Sink those patrol boats, or we won't be able to load up with any more fish. That would be a disaster. Control bolts are gonna be hard as hell to nail. Taking fire from the gunboats. So let's and fire. That should destroy at least the U-boat. Hold on, didn't I hit you? Okay, whatever. Don't waste the torpedo on them. Our machine guns are sufficient. Keep pouring it on. So be careful. Very careful. I'm gonna head back to the airfield to rearm. Need more torpedoes. Those subs are all yours. I'm not convinced going up against those AA guns is a sound idea. Coward. <laughs> I didn't know the Brits were such cowards. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to have my head for that one. <laughs> uh, maybe that'll bring him back into the stream. Marker, grab more torpedoes, and go sink the U-boats. All right, we got six fishies. Yeah, one hit from an 88 would absolutely obliterate this thing. You're gonna get yourself killed. Wait, what? No, oh, I am very much out of range. Fly the hell away now. That's a bunch of U-boats sunk. Ow, ow. Uh, 
Oh, there you are. Line up the shot and fire. Stay on target. Stay on target. I think I missed by a millimeter. Tell me I didn't miss by a millimeter. I missed by a millimeter. Damn it. No, I nailed him. I'd like to say that I nailed the... Hold on, what were the bonus mission? Ah. I'd like to say I've nailed the training for the swordfish. Alright. After this next mission, I am going to take a break in order to get a drink. Also, the hell you mean that it's only been an hour and 20 minutes? It's been like three hours. February 12th, 1941. We're now stationed on an island in the Mediterranean. Since I transferred to the Battlehawks, I've been flying nonstop. True to his word, Rourke has cooked up some very unusual missions for us. He has us follow one rule. Do whatever it takes to get the job done. I like his way of thinking. Rourke assures us that our unit is making a big difference in the war effort. We just can't tell anybody about it yet. And we might never get to. Rourke received intel from a source codenamed the White Rose. Apparently, Hitler is sending his best general, Rommel, to take command of their forces in North Africa. Arguably best. We've been ordered to intercept his convoy and sink the freighter carrying Rommel. We must catch the ship before it reaches a heavily defended harbor in Libya. The operation is complicated by the fact that one of the freighters has the White Rose on board. Recently, another American has joined our outfit here. She's our supply pilot and goes by Pauline. She's already proven to be tough as nails. I remember this mission. The swordfish may look like she belongs in the history books, but she's one sweet torpedo bomber. She's perfect for attacking Rommel's convoy. I've loaded her up with torpedoes. One ship, one torpedo. So be accurate. All right. Let's begin this mission. Approaching mission area, Pauline. Convoy coming into range. Remember, we don't know exactly which freighter Rommel's on. So we'll sink them all. No love lost. Negative. You are not to attack the freighter I've indicated. Our agent White Rose is on board. Our intelligence indicates pairs of U-boats and destroyers will be running interference for the freighters. Let's wait in, chaps, for England. Torpedo Flugzeuge im Anflug. Alle Mann an die Flak. Alle Batterien. Feuer! I think it's safe to say we've been spotted. Yep. Dropping to low altitude. Beginning attack run. Chase, be precise when torpedoing the freighters. We won't have time to rearm. I might have missed. I might have missed. Oh, hold on. 
maybe not, maybe not. Ooh, that's close. But nail. I got four left. Uh, the hell? Swordfish is not a fighter plane. We are hopelessly outgunned. We should land and change our planes. We are not a fighter plane. In real life, BF 109s would absolutely tear swordfish to shreds.
Da vorne ist ein Fahrzeug liegen geblieben. Frage mal nach, ob die einen Mechaniker brauchen. Rücke aus. Rose has attracted some attention. Chase, take out that tank fast. Uh-oh. I need to rearm. This might be close. I see it, Rose. We'll handle it. Kontrollpunkt 1 antwortet nicht. Günther, schau dir das mal an. Verstanden. Bin unterwegs. Chase, Rose is about to have company.
No worries. I might as well land, right? Rearm, because the mission's still not over quite yet. Six recon cars coming down the road at high speed. They're going after Rose. Stop them, Chase. They're shooting at me. My handgun won't be enough. You must intervene. Damn it! Hang on, Rose! Help you get. Slow down those cars. Keep them away from the road. <sighs> that was close. Going after those transports. Those transports are your bonus goal. Shoot them down with prejudice. Punch through. Go after the transports. Now then, the Fucker Wolves are all that's left. Shoot them down. That was everything. We've got the Distinguished Flying Cross with the Golden Star for completing all secondary objectives. Gotten five upgrades and the new Lockheed P-38 Lightning.
And believe it or not, we're not even halfway done with the game yet. Uh. In December of 1941, the Japanese Empire finally declared its Axis allegiance by bombing Pearl Harbor. This one blow effectively destroyed the bulk of the U.S. Pacific Fleet and thrust the United States into World War II. The Battlehawks, busy thwarting Nemesis activity in Europe, sent a few of their best pilots to join the Flying Tigers, a battle-hardened unit of American volunteers already engaging the Japanese over China. The White Rose indicated that a meeting of Japanese and German operatives would soon take place to exchange vital military secrets. This was an event the Allies knew they had to foil. So, the Japanese have finally decided to attack the United States. Let's go to the hangar and check out our new plane. Chase, I've been very busy in the hangar and all for your benefit. I've added a cannon magazine to each one of your planes. Now you have the option of adding them as your secondary weapon. This has better starting stats than our BF-109. It's a really good plane. The P-38 was one of the most versatile and effective American fighters during the war. It was used on almost all fronts in a great variety of roles. This really unique looking aircraft with twin engine and twin tail designs flew interception and photographic reconnaissance missions, fighter bomber night fighter missions, and it was also flown by a top ranking American ace. Your aircraft is the new field up the new field field upgrade the new fi field upgrade your aircraft field upgrade applied to your plane. Good luck with it. Now check out those stats. This thing's hard to shoot down, and it's pretty decent in the speed department too. It's better than all of our other planes in every single way. So, with that in mind. I think Trevor and I are finally speaking the same language. There's a rescue boat headed out to pick up downed pilots off the coast of North Africa. Heavy opposition is expected since the fighting in the area has been so fierce. We're going along to provide cover and make sure those boys make it back alive. There's one thing we don't ever joke about. It's the welfare of a fellow pilot. We're going to bring them out safely, even if it means endangering our own lives. Your choice. They're already in waiting. Let's take our P-38 Lightning. Anything you choose, I'll put on your plane. The cannon. The cannons are the, one of the best unlocks in the game. They have the power to shoot down enemy warships and tanks. They're bombs, but you've got a lot more to use. Let's begin. Captain Garrison, we're here to provide cover while you rescue our boys. Copy that. We're glad to have you with us. We've heard reports of a strong enemy presence in the area. Acknowledged. We'll do our best to keep the area safe. Just get our boys back. There are no airstrips in the vicinity to rearm at, so watch your ammunition. Right. Incoming. 3109's on a path to straight our pilot.
Let's go take out that patrol boat. This is why I bought the cannons. Let me take out the patrol boat first. I want that destroyer dead before he can do any damage to our boys. Get the hell away from my boys. Another group of fighters headed our way. They're coming in low. Keep them off our men. You are in the support pile. Things he needs to leave it. Get ready, Kai Kazu. Come on, come on. Get into my sights, right about there, yes? Come on, I hit you. Come back here. Sad that I lost one, but it was close enough. I think I'm going to like this P-38. Right. December 23rd, 1941, Pearl Harbor. Wouldn't surprise me to learn that Nemesis had a hand in that, too. I might have been stationed there myself if my wings hadn't been taken from me. Now that I'm posted with the Flying Tigers, I'll have a chance at payback for what they did to my friends at Pearl. If the information from the White Rose is on the mark, our target is at a harbor along the coast of Siam. We're hoping to destroy the equipment being exchanged between Nemesis and the Japanese. There are supposedly three enemy docks protected by surface ships, as well as a Japanese airfield. I almost get the impression they don't want visitors. After accomplishing the objectives, I'm to rendezvous with Pauline at one of our secret staging areas. So that's our mission, to prevent, 
to assist the Flying Tigers in their efforts in China. This new plane, the P-38, seems to be everyone's favorite at the moment. I hear it handles great, but I'll let you find that out for yourself. The choice is up to you. Hmm. Ground targets and ships. The new cannons or bombs are the way to go, if you ask me. The new cannons are amazing. We'll do just that. Excuse you. Bit smug, aren't they, Chase? Who can bring down more Zeke? Tigers or battle hawks? My guess, it'll be no contest. Sounds like bluster to me. It looks like our talents are sharper than your claws. You're on. Take 
Just a second. I love this cannon. I love it so much. It's my favorite thing. Got a choice there, Tigers. I don't feel comfortable doing a loop de loop here. So instead, I'm going to do this. I'm out of cannon ammo. I need to head over to the partisan airfield. I would, but I'm out of ammo. I should... Let's go blow up the hangar. Now I've got 200 more shots. Hold up. 
Trucks next, and we'll move back to the ships. There they are. Take out the trucks, then go for the Zeeks and destroy the crates at the end. Let's take out those destroyers and the Zeeks out here, then we'll come back from the crates and finish this up. Yay! That's the bonus goal right there. Shoot down more planes than the Flying Tigers. Alright, I'm gonna make sure that YouTube hasn't 
screwed over the chat again. Because I like hearing you guys in my chat. Bad for him. Chase, Trevor, I'm coming up on the partisan airfield. After I drop these supplies, we should. Uh oh. Uh oh. Schade, dass wir das Material für die Japaner nicht treffen konnten. Idioten. Wir teilen die Macht mit niemand. Schwarze Lanze 1 und 2. Feindliches Transportflugzeug auf 12 Uhr. Abschießen. I'll be damned if we're going to leave Pauline behind. Blake, do you know where she went down? I've marked the coordinates on my map, but it's in Japanese controlled territory. Who are these guys? You'll find out soon enough. Watch yourselves, Tigers. You'll find these 109 deadlier than their Japanese friends. Where the hell do you think you're running off to? We're now at first lieutenant. Well, we've lost Pauline. That's a bad blow. Unable to stop the German U-boat from escaping with unknown secrets, the Flying Tigers focused their attention on a new dilemma. A reconnaissance patrol had successfully located a Japanese POW camp holding captured Allied pilots. Among the lost pilots was Pauline Armstrong, a member of the Battlehawk squadron. Her interrogation threatened to expose Battlehawk operations. James Chase convinced the Flying Tigers commander of the necessity of rescuing Armstrong. Chase volunteered to lead a rescue operation, a mission that would be risky for all involved, including the prisoners they were trying to save. It's worth it to get Pauline out of there. <laughs> to the challenges. Ooh gotten hold of some interesting intel on Japanese fleet movements. We've learned the exact timing and route of a large convoy of destroyers and troop transports. This gives us a perfect chance to sink the whole lot of them before they reach their destination. Blake has procured a devastator torpedo bomber for this task and convinced Trevor to be my gunner. Now that took some doing. The plan is simple. The Tigers will protect us from enemy fighters and anti-aircraft. Well, we skim the waves and torpedo the convoy. What the hell? 
hell is this? Flex said you're gonna be in the Navy's Devastator. I only follow orders. The Douglas TBD-1 Devastator was the initial U.S. carrier-based torpedo bomber. Had forward-facing 30 caliber and a rear pivot-mounted 30 caliber machine guns, powered by an 850-horsepower Pratt & Whitney engine. This thing sucks! Your plane's being equipped with torpedoes. Sounds like you're going ship hunting. Damn Best right. Luck. Okay, so... In this mission, we have to sink all the destroyers and all the troop transports, and also destroy the patrol boats that are here in order to unlock a new plane. Convoy up ahead. Flight escort spotted as well. In ten minutes, the ships will be beyond our reach. So, move as quickly as you can manage in this slug of a plane. <laughs> we have limited ammunition. Four transports are in the convoy, so we can't afford to miss. Make those torpedoes count. Hit the transports and send them to the bottom. Let the Tigers worry about the fighters and destroyers. Head on, baby! I want those patrol boats more than I want anything else right now. Sink, damn you. Sink!
out ammunition. Three armor to pass down airfield. We've got three of them, Mr. Blake. One more to go. Come on, Chase. Blow that last one for Pauline. Alright, we're almost done here. Now I just need to fly over to the airfield and land, rearm, re get all of my armor and stuff back, and we're golden. Plus, we've got like five minutes to sink three ships. Apparently, shoot down a bunch of fighters, too. Go down, go down. How is it better at turning than I am? I'm not living without one of these things shot down by my hand. What? Bull. There we go. Okay. I want the destroyer. Wait a minute. Ah, there's a secondary destroyer. Eleven hundred thousand eight. There. Target. Tin fish away. Right into the line of fire. Back down we go. I'm gonna miss a second time.
Yeah, try dodging two of them. Now then. Bombs away. Can't get more of a textbook shot than that. Gonna hit right into its side. Wait, we got the zero? I thought this was the Zeke we were unlocking. Well, damn. The zero is one of the most recognizable planes in the entire war. All right, let's go check it out in the hangar. Tigers have been ordered to escort a group of American destroyers. Blake asked Trevor and I to go along, saying he could use our planes out there. The destroyers will be vulnerable to enemy bomber attacks while moving without a carrier. With the losses they've already taken, they can't afford to lose more than half of their current battle group. We'll have to keep any enemy planes at bay. With any luck, I'll get a chance to put a few more Zeeks into the drink. All right, let's check out the Zero, apparently. Listen up, Chase. I've been looking for a way for your planes to carry rockets. I've figured it out. So now any of your planes can be equipped with them. Oh, it was the Zeke. Any plan you choose, we'll make it ready. Good. The Mitsubishi Zeke was... The mainstay Japanese fighter, capable of operating from aircraft carriers or land bases, very maneuverable and fast aircraft equipped with two 20mm cannons and two machine guns. New field, up field upgrades apply to your plane. The new field, up field upgrades apply to field upgrades. I got 30 of these field things rolling around. Apply to your plane. Good luck with it. Field upgrades applied to your plane. Good luck with it. Far better handling. But the P-38's got better armor. Just outright. I'm gonna give the Zeke a try. Will that fit your plane with a weapon of your choice? Let's go with the cannon. So, primary goal, two U.S. destroyers survive. Secondary goal, well, bonus goal, shoot down more planes than the Tigers. Captain Chester, what's the status of your destroyer group? We seem to have a test problem. We're on it, Tigers. Losing more than half of our destroyers would be a disaster. Hickey, it's been doing that. Mr. Blake, 11 o'clock high from the south. shot down four of them myself. That's my stick. 
Listen up, everyone. We can't let those kids release their torpedoes. Ignore any fighters and take down those torpedo plays. I love the maneuverability on this bird. Oh, there's the gates. Let's go ahead and take them down. All right, here we go. Lining up my shot. They're coming about. I think they're moving to engage us. Yeah, now they're ready to play. Okay, what the hell? I do not have an airbase to land at. I need to disengage. All right. Oh, is there only one target? Oh, in that case, I can go and fuck him up. Why not? Thank you. You guys can head home. Oh, almost forgot. Battlehawks win. Nice work, fellas. Hehehehe. <laughs>
So I like the Zeke. I like the Zeke a lot. Sure, it's got low armor, but everything else is really good. Plus, it looks like a normal plane. You know what I mean? Alright, enough fooling around. Let's get to the mission. December 31st, 1941. This isn't good. Nemesis shot Pauline down, and the Japanese have captured her. Both Trevor and I are frantic. Knowing her, she'd rather die than divulge Battlehawk secrets. Fortunately, the Tigers located the POW camp where Pauline and some of their own men are being held. We're going to get Pauline and the other prisoners out of there, no matter what. The only rescue plan that'll work involves destroying the gates to the camp along with its guard towers so the prisoners can escape. Then they can commandeer an enemy aircraft or truck to get the hell out. The assault will be tricky considering we can only attack from the air and we don't want to injure our fellow comrades. In any event, we must pick our targets carefully. I'm glad I have Trevor flying with me on this one. Alright, so, I'm going to go with the Zeke. Chase, the bus car boys out of that POW camp try out the new rockets. They're great for precision attacks. Cannons would also do the job. I recommend you go with the cannons. Rockets are nice and all, but with the rockets, you've only got 20 shots. With the cannons, you've got more precise shots and a lot more of them. This is apparently a very difficult mission to get everything done, so we're gonna try our best, but I may have to come back here to complete the other goals. Watch where you're flying. They know we're here. They'll be launching everything they have to stop us. There's the camp, Chase. Now locate the gates and gun towers. Thank you. It is to me. Pilots running to their fighters. Stop them. Then go for all it's good. Take your gay and get killed. We got that you are a shelter.
Ow. I will in just a second. Those oh, axe are annoying. You know what? Fucking bet. First. No more taking off for you. Now then. Let's go blow up these gun towers real quick. Let's see. Just checking for something. Something's off. Huh. Never mind. I guess I'm wrong. Beautifully done. All gun towers are down. Chase, you've got to open the gate for our pilot. Shoot them on your next part. Oh, you got it. Engage those fighters before they tear that truck to pieces. Move. Those are our pilots down there. Destroyers? Okay, let's blow them up.
you get away from that truck. I want to go after the stairs. Don't let them get above you. Agreed. Trevor, Chase, Tigers, is anyone receiving me? Pauline, we hear you. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just eager to get off this island. Are my men with you? Yes, they're with me. I'm in the cockpit of a Betty transport trying to read Japanese. Mm. We can get out of here if you can keep us from getting shot up as we take off. No worries about that. Japanese fighters to help get us out of here. Some of the Tigers are going to fly them out. Krieger. I'm gonna see if I can go blow up that listening post. That would be a hard no.
right. Friends was too easy, American. I know you can do better. No way, Chase. I don't care what you think. We're not letting you fight him alone. You hear me, Crowd? Until next time. It's better does I'm Chase. You didn't even take one shot. We got a new plane, the Wildcat, and the Devastator, in instant action. Sadly, we did not unlock the Zero. So apparently, in order to get the uh, other secondary objective that I missed... You have to go and blow up the Japanese uh, POW Camp HQ. I waited for quite a while for that to show up. Not a thing. So, I guess I'll show this mission again. Seeking medical attention for Armstrong, Chase rendezvoused with the aircraft carrier Yorktown. Damaged at the Battle of Coral Sea, <coughs> Yorktown limped back to Pearl Harbor. While aboard, Chase learned that an important Japanese radio intercept had been deciphered. It told of an imminent Japanese naval assault on Midway Island, the site of a vitally important American base. Only three U.S. carriers were available to counter this attack. Admiral Chester Nimitz risked them all in a desperate gamble to catch the Japanese by surprise. If his plan succeeded, the tide of war in the Pacific would turn decisively in America's favor. If it failed, the war in the Pacific would be lost. This is the longest mission in the game, the Battle of Midway. But for now, let's head to the hangar. Notice how we don't have our wildcat here? That's because we only get to use it for this upcoming mission. So, let's get into things. June 4th, 1942. We saved Pauline, but lost Trevor. It was Krieger and Nemesis again. I'm sick about it. Trevor, a great pilot and friend. Despondent, Pauline and I made our way to the Yorktown. It was the closest American ship able to treat her wounds. Despite her prison ordeal, the doctors at Pearl Harbor expect her to make a full recovery in a few months. While on the Yorktown, I heard that something big is in the works. 
the Yorktown, Enterprise, and Hornet battle groups are headed back out to engage the Japanese fleet in Midway Island. Since a lot of pilots were lost recently, I was able to get on the flight roster of the Yorktown. I figure it's time to redeem myself. Plus, it'll be good to fly a Wildcat again. My job will be to escort the dive bombers and torpedo planes during their attack on the enemy carriers once we find them. If we can sink the Japanese carriers, we've changed the course of the war in the Pacific. The F-4F Wildcat. It's the main carrier-based U.S. fighter for the first two years of the war. It's one of the best planes of the U.S. Navy. It's equipped with four Browning 50 caliber machine guns, two in each wing, self-sealing fuel tanks, pilot armor, one of the most formidable foes for its Japanese adversaries. This thing is tough. Jason, I know you haven't met a Wildcat for a while, but it's just like riding a bike. You just ride that bike down the enemy's throat and give them hell from us. First objective. We must protect the Allied aircraft while, attack, while they attack the Japanese carriers. Secondary objective in this mission is that all Dauntless dive bombers must survive. Okay, boys, get ready. Hornet, this is Torpedo 8. We've spotted enemy carriers. Beginning attack run. Stay tight and low, boys. We gotta make our fish count. Now you get killed quick, too. I'm taking fire. Too much flak. Stay tight. We're almost there. Get ready to release. On my... Ah! Ah! Come on, go down. Down you go.
Thing is, you're all out of aircraft. I think that was a secondary goal completed. All right. Part two of Midway. We're on an AA gun. Returning Wildcats, this is your town. Affirmative on the contacts. We picked them up too. Intercept inbound hostile aircraft before they can hit the York town. Copy that, York town. We'll do our best. Oh, no, we're not. there. Just a couple thousand more. I don't see anything. This is getting out of hand, Chase. There's too many of them. Just shoot them down. Worry about it later. They're coming in hard. How can we stop them all? We fly and we fight. What else?
think we're good. So you know how I said at the beginning that I never gave my t uh, partners any orders? Yeah, I take it back. You guys are amazing. Down you go. Ooh, Kate. Done. All planes shot down. Good job, boys. The scopes are clear. All attacking aircraft destroyed or withdrawing. <sighs> Looks like we held back the storm for now. We should take this opportunity to land and rearm before anything else happens. Okay, phase three. Defend Yorktown with the AA gun. Secondary objective is that two of the destroyers also need to survive. So I'm making another save state. Everyone's on the deck. Get ready to head back out immediately. We have a bandit. Looks like a cage. He's on a torpedo run. Hang on. That was close. We've been head hard, Chase. Multiple radar contacts. Looks like they've regrouped. Chase, our planes aren't ready yet. Get on that anti-air gun. Keep them off the Yorktown. Enemy torpedo planes coming up on your side, Chase.
And I hate this. I don't know why I'm allowed to try and make these shots. to let them get this close. Rely on your radar in this situation. Those two planes are off my radar and I can't hit them. Well, I can hit you.
Bonk. And kaboom to you. I see you. Go to hell. they get this close without you guys saying anything? Are you trying to get your things shot up? That's how you get your things shot up. Sad. We'll be evacuating New York Town. There's only one plane left on the tube. You fly, I'll take the rear gunnery position. Sounds good. A recon group of Enterprise has sighted the last enemy carrier. They're moving into position to attack her as we speak. Our planes are to coordinate with the Enterprise forces to sink that carrier. Get those bastards chased for the York Town. Yes, sir. Okay, our final objective of this mission is to sink the Japanese carrier Hiryu. The bonus objective is simple, sink one Japanese destroyer. Enemy fighters ahead, screening us from their carrier. We must break through if we're going to sink that flat top. You got it, Dauntless. Bomber will maneuver as well as a wildcat, but we have to get by those fighters to drop our bombs. I'll cover our rear, but don't rely on me to do everything. No worries. The few wildcats we have left should give us some cover. Bombers stay in formation. Let the wildcats handle the fighters. Understood. Target sighted. Going after a Japanese destroyer. Nothing matters except your targets. Take out a destroyer, then go after Hiryu and blow it up. More Zeke's coming in. A wildcat's out their hands full. Wait in and hit that damn carrier. It's up to us now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's the only other bomb I'm gonna drop. Get them off of me, I'm gonna crash! Ah, 
Ah, screw that. Take out the fighters. Okay, I need to have a talk with whoever's in charge of those wildcat fighters. They did horribly at their job. Okay, now that those assholes are out of the picture, let's go and destroy this destroyer. Then we can go in and take out the Hiryu. Now, go, escort fighters, come on. Don't make me do all your work for you again, I swear to God. Escort, defend me. Oh my God, these guys are idiots. that because these assholes can't do their job. Their only job as a fighter group is to escort the fighters, escort the bombers, so they can get to their objectives. They are obviously not doing that.
Are you seeing this? So there are wildcats here. What the hell are you idiots doing? As of you idiots, we've only got a couple of bombers left. More seeks coming in. Our wildcats have their hands full. Are you serious? One more. That was annoying. We got the silver star for completing all of the other objectives. We've also got the mosquito. That was harsh. But I did it. So let's continue.
Alright. The American success at the Battle of Midway marked a turning point in the Pacific War. With the Japanese now on the defensive, Germany posed a far greater threat. Chase and the other Battlehawk pilots returned to Europe, eager to find the German U-boat that had escaped. The SOE was convinced that the sub's cargo was part of a secret weapons project, but the exact details were still a mystery. Word then came from the Dutch underground that an eminent Danish physicist named Niels Bohr wished to defect. He claimed to have information about a secret nemesis weapon of devastating potential. This was the opportunity that the SOE had been waiting for. The Battlehawks were immediately dispatched on a challenging mission to extract the scientist from inside occupied territory. All right, I will be right back, everyone. All right, I am back, everyone. Let's see what other challenges we've got. Ah, mosquito bite. Toomey boasted that he'd sink more German U-boats with his specially modified mosquito than anyone else in the squadron. Well, Battlehawk's pride is so strong that everyone volunteered me to take the challenge. They figured I've tangled with Toomey before, so I'd be the best one to beat him. So I'm heading out with Toomey to hunt for U-boats in the icy waters between Denmark and Sweden. I'm looking forward to making him eat his words. That'll be fun. I've added another level of upgrade to the armor, airframe, and engine upgrades. There are now three levels of each with which to improve one of your planes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mosquito. One of the best planes in the game for quite a while. The de, Havil the de Havilad Mosquito was an elegant all-wood twin-engine bomber, which possessed remarkable speed. The British aircraft could outrun even a BF-109. What? 
It could outrun a German fighter plane. The Mosquito could be equipped with a wide range of weapons, including four nose-mounted 20mm cannons. Field upgrade. Field upgrade. The new field upgrade is complete. Field upgrade. The new field. Your aircraft has been. The new field. Your aircraft. Your aircraft has been modified. The new field upgrade is complete. Field upgrade applied to your plane. Good luck with it. Anything you choose, I'll put on your plane. All right, let's get this started. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Let's begin. Up ahead. Plenty of surface contacts to pick from. This is what I call a target-rich environment. I would suggest that you not waste your time with the destroyers. They can take quite a beating. Concentrate on the thubs. We won't have time to rearm and make it back before these subs get out of range. This is our only opportunity, so let's hit them the first time. Eines unserer U-Boot ist gesunken. Kümmern Sie sich um die Überlebende. Los an die Deckgeschütze! Feuer auf alliierte Flugzeuge konzentrieren! Schnell! Hi, John. <laughs> yeah, the German guy was absolutely pissed because I sunk his boats. Uh, you go over there. Actually, hold on. I want to sink that patrol boat more than I want that uh, U boat. Thanks for coming back, by the way. I'm doing quite well here, Chase. Managing with your shots. Oh, I didn't even notice the, all those over there. It is kind of hard to not be mad in German when you think about it. Okay. Not sure what I'm more concerned about. The sharks or the Nazis picking me up out of the water. Oh dear. Well, that's a you problem. I know the pilot missed out to stick. And the patrol boat is only now fishing. I'm pilot left now. Will that be the end? The fuck? Krieger is here. The flip the flugzeug down here and the flick and come. 
Okay, let's take out this patrol boat now. Before our, uh, there we are. Now then, onto the Falcon Wolves. already. Oh, for crying out loud. off guard. You're the last one, aren't you? And you're done. Womp womp. Sorry there, Krieger. All right. So, because we completed all the goals, our requisition forms have been filled out, and we've got this new XP-55 Ascender. Now, the XP-55 Ascender is only a prototype aircraft, commonly known as the Boomerang. You might have seen it in War Thunder. It's an interesting little plane. August 15th, 1942. My trip back to England was exhausting, but I'm glad to be with the Battlehawks again. Rourke was clearly pleased to see me too, as he needs my special talents for the next mission. Of course, he was buttering me up for another one of his outlandish don't tell us all about it missions. It involves striking back at Nemesis. That's all I need to know. Indeed, the details of this mission are pretty hair raising. I'll be escorting an escaping scientist who will be traveling through occupied Denmark in a stolen armored vehicle at night. Upon reaching the coast, the good doctor will transfer to a high-speed boat to get to safety. I must eliminate anything that endangers him. Attacks could come from enemy vehicles, aircraft, or even ships. Chase, I've just about given you up for dead. I've got a new plane that's got your name written all over it. It's called the Mosquito. It flies like the wind, despite its wooden construction. Knowing you, that's a good thing. Wood's much easier for me to cobble back together. <laughs> Behold, the XP-55 Ascender. You all know it as the Boomerang in War Thunder. The Curtis Wright XP-55 Ascender was an American prototype fighter with a very unusual design. It had a rear-mounted engine, swept wings, and very flared wingtips, but it has no tail. This allowed, this backwards design allowed them to put a lot more firepower on the front. However, apparently the Mosquito has even more firepower than it. Let's see what happens when I upgrade the hell out of it. Field up, the new field, the new field, the new field, your aircraft, your aircraft, field up, the new field, the new field upgrade is complete. Same speed, better handling, slightly less firepower. Plus, we're never going to get another chance to use this thing, are we? 
So? I've just got my hands on a larger caliber cannon type. It's the 57 millimeter. You can't carry as many rounds as the 37 millimeter, but it packs a bigger wallop. For this mission, I would take either one of the cannon types or rockets. Thank you. Oh, it also carries less ammo with the special weapons. That's bull. I am going to go with the small cannon. We can use the bigger one later. Keep driving, Doctor. Don't stop. Keep moving. Chase, destroy those tanks before they can hit the Doctor's car. Chase, destroy any reconnaissance cars on site. Best to keep the cherries in the dark. There are tanks behind me! We are falling out under! Umgeht den Kanal. Wir werden sie in der nächsten Brücke abfahren. I heard explosions behind me. They're firing at me. Relax, Doctor. Our man just jumped through the sewers. Your only concern should be the road ahead of you, Doctor. Auto gesichtet. Bereit zum Angriff. Bin gleich gleich weiter. Chase, tanks are closing in on the doctor. Hit those panzers fast. Aye, aye. Feindliches Flugzeug. Wir brauchen Unterstützung. Relax, Doctor. You haven't taken a single hit yet. And I'm about to deal with your panzers. They are hitting my vehicle. I, I don't know if I can do this. This is not like laboratory science. You're doing fine, Dr. Bohr. Keep moving. You don't have much farther to go. is all the way over here. Let's go and take care of the gun tower before he gets even close. Aiming. Firing.
fucker wolves. Of course there are fucker wolves in the sky. Sir, yeah. The Kubel wagon. Ah, Kubel wagons. Kubel wagons are fun. They're very lightly armored. I think just one shot from my cannon would destroy it. Let's find out. They won't, Doctor. Hold on. Don't let those tanks get into the tunnel, Chase. Destroy them before they start to move. Another Panzer? Really? Well, okay. Far away is that airfield. I... You know what? I'm close. No worries. Now I am going to land at the airfield, rearm, and take care of things. Relax, Doctor. Chase, Relax. You must stay close to Bor. I'm just rearming, so I don't, you know, get screwed over. Another Kubel wagon. I can take a little detour, sure.
Done. Chase, destroy that guard tower. Already done. Destroyer, destroyer, panzers. Ah, there it is. Well, we have a spare moment. Let's go blow up the train. What an asshole. I don't feel bad about blowing him the hell up. Flugzeug im Anflug. Flag der Lungen. Feuer! Right across the bridge, Doctor. Okay, next objective. Take out the destroy amount of ammo. Quite yet, Doctor. Not quite yet, Doctor. You'll see an island in the distance. Head for it. Hello! Nicht autorisiertes Flugzeug! Abschießen! I'm being shot at! Their shots are exploding! Those German guns are, are hitting too close! I'm going after the fucker wolf. I can't. My craft has been damaged. Are there Hello! Nicht autorisiertes Flugzeug! Abschießen! I'm being shot at! Their shots are exploding! Those German guns are, are hitting too close! I don't think I can make it. I can't make it. I shouldn't have picked the heavy cannon. I ran out of ammo. Tanks. They 
Imperial tanks coming after me? W what do I do? Relax. Don't stop. Keep moving. Chase, destroy those tanks before they can hit the doctor's car. I heard explosions behind me. They're firing at me. Our man just jumped to the sewers. Our only concern should be the road ahead of you, doctor. They're flying off and under. Okay, Kuba wagons. I see you. Auto gesichtet, bereit zum Angriff. Bin gleich reich weiter. Chief, tanks are closing in on the doctor. Hit those panzers fast. Alright, next up, head back around, nail the panzers in the back. They're coming right at me. around for miles. We should might as well take out those Falker Wolves now. Come here. No more planes in the sky. On the way. Fine. I just destroyed them all. Don't let those tanks get into the tunnel, Chase. Destroy them before they start to move. Look up in front of four. Er schießt den Wissenschaftler so bald ihn seht. Full speed. Der 
Läufer. Haltet ihn auf. Gefechtsposition. Schnell! There they are. I almost lost these guys. It would have been a shame. What now? Stay calm, Doctor. Our pilot is going to scout ahead. Keep moving. Good job, Chase. Come here, Americana. Ich bring dich um. Auf dem und tot. right off. I can't exactly outrun them now. Okay, now I'm going to head to the airfield and rearm. And I'm not going to make the same mistake again. about now. The train traveling those rails is a target of opportunity. Destroying it will help the Danish underground immensely. Great work. Now get back to the doctor. I'll relay a message to the Danes to salvage the train wreckage.
I should have absolutely blown up right there. Blow up these destroyers now. Chase, there are tanks patrolling the village. Step on it, Doctor. Just keep driving to the dock. We are safe to drop it. The shots will open for Run off for the ship. Fine now, Doctor. There should be a craft for you in the boathouse, Doctor. Use it to escape. I am safe. Finally safe. Not quite yet. Not quite yet, Doctor. You'll see an island in the distance. Head for it. Destroyed the train, destroyed all the recon cars, and I've sunk some of the destroyers. Fuck a wolves. Der Verräter ist in Reichweite. Er darf nicht entkommen. Zerstören Sie sein Boot. Why so much effort over me? Just leave me be. Don't worry, Doctor. I'm almost done clearing him out. Done. There we go. Knock out our Akax and keep the skies clear, so Pauline can drop our attack force on the strip. Rourke, I'm in a holding pattern, awaiting further orders. You Get you off that boat! They ride some fire! It's a bad dream! It has to be! They are still after me! Planes, tanks, towers, soldiers, and now submarines! Where will this madness end? Get a hold of yourself, Doctor. Get those subs, Chase, and be quick about it. Those German guns are, are hitting too close.
away from the doctor. Oh, I'm out of cannon ammo. That's not good. No. Ah, here we go again. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, let's try this again, with more feeling this time. Just need to take out the A-guns. Okay, next one. I just need to wait for the boys to land and then I can land this thing and get a new plane! Like I said, this is the only time I was ever going to use this thing. Where did 
the hell is he? Doctor? Ah, oh, he must be right underneath me. Land already, please. Land, please. Objective secure. We have control of the airstrip. I do, desperately. I'm almost to the other side of the island. I can see some ships in the distance. They look like warships. Chief, there's a pair of destroyers on the other side of the island. Sink them before they sight the doctor's boat. Aye, aye. Get moving, doctor. Are you serious? Oh my god. My craft has been damaged. Are there life rests on this thing? Oh my god! I'm gonna have to restart again! You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go back to the hangar and switch out my planes. Are you receiving me? Is this? The Screw this piece of junk. Once more, from the top, this time with more firepower. Are you receiving me? I is this thing working? Yes, Doctor, we're reading you. Our pilot will remove obstacles from your path. Just keep him informed of your situation. Nemesis Bartus, bitter comment.
farther to go. I guess the guns on the other plane were just less powerful. All right, let's go get more ammo. This 57 millimeter cannon slaps. Just a second, I will be right with you. Die 
Schatten auf den Pol. Los auf und ein Kind. Feindliches Flugzeug im Anflug. Versteckt euch in den Zivilgebäuden. about now. The train traveling those rails is a target of opportunity. Destroying it will help the Danish underground immensely. There's the final Kubel wagon. Great work. Now get back to the doctor. I'll relay a message to the Danes to salvage the train wreckage. The guard tower's in splinters. And now where? Head to the dock. I hope you know what you're doing. Good job, Chase. Okay. There should be a craft for you in the boat. I could not have timed that better. Oh my god. That was amazing timing to land and rearm. Der Verräter ist in Reichweite. Er darf nicht entkommen. Zerstören Sie sein Boot.
Dropping paratroopers. All shoots deployed, returning to Lenskrona. Let's take out these destroyers so they're not a problem for us anymore. Sir. Gonna have to wait for them to clear out the airfield now. Yep, I'm out of ammo. But they're almost done. Finally. And now we unlocked the FW-190. That's right. Now we have the power of the Fucker Wolves. Ah. Let's go with the small rocket. Why not? See if you can bring that 190 back intact. Sir. Yes, sir. As long as I get to keep it myself. <laughs> ah, this is fun. As far as I am aware, the Fogel Wolf is faster than any other plane that we have access to right now. So it might replace my Mosquito. And now to show off rockets. Rockets are weird. They're unguided. Let's see if I can't nail this one. Yay! Distinguished Service Medal, and we've got more upgrade forms and a new plane in the hangar. Ugh, that took way too long. Debriefing Dr. Bohr, the SOE gained highly disturbing information. The German U-boat had brought back equipment needed to produce a new type of heavy bomber, one designed for long-range transatlantic flight. Worse yet, the first prototypes were ready to be field-tested by Nemesis on the Eastern Front near Stalingrad. 
Stalingrad was a city under siege, and the Soviets were eager to receive any Allied support in their upcoming offensive to break the German stranglehold. The SOE ordered a pilot from the Battlehawks to go there on a special mission. Ace pilot James Chase was entrusted with finding the German prototype. A new transatlantic bomber. That's not good. One of our listening posts gave warning that another Japanese convoy was headed our way. After mixing it up with the Japanese during the night, some of our destroyers are in pursuit of a freighter that is limping home. We've been ordered to provide fighter cover for our destroyers. I'm taking Dadigan, one of my buddies from the Eagles, and several other Americans out there to make sure that freighter doesn't get home. You're playing with the weapon of your choice. This is Task Force Alpha, over. Wildcat here, reading loud and clear. We're in pursuit of a Japanese freighter with a destroyer escort. Any help you can provide will be appreciated.
You're gonna love this. Planes can now be upgraded to carry double their previous rocket loads. Your aircraft field up the new field up field up field upgrade apply the new field field up field up field upgrade field upgrade apply the new field upgrade is complete.
January 10th, 1943. I've been on the move again. I'm now near Stalingrad in the Soviet Union investigating reports of a new weapon being developed by Nemesis. The Battlehawks higher-ups think this weapon is a huge long-range bomber. It might be capable of launching strikes against American soil. I'm here to stop it, if I can find it. The most likely location is a German air base outside of Stalingrad, where local intel has seen signs of strange activities. I will assist the Soviet ground forces that are advancing toward this base by attacking the German defensive lines. If we attack swiftly, we can take the air base and capture one of these bombers on the ground. Comrade, you'll be flying our tank Pillar the Sturmovik as part of the Soviet Air Force today. Lieutenant Lilia Lipfak will fly with you and act as your liaison officer. Good hunting. You'll soon find out why the Germans call it the Black Death. You'll be targeting German Panzer tanks in this operation. Rockets or cannons are the weapons of choice against these targets.
Geben Sie den Panzern Feuerschutz, diese Bastarde dürfen nicht durchbrechen!
der Nachschub. Kurier, wie lautet Ihre Position? Ihr Kurier, nähern uns aus nördlicher Richtung. Wir sind gleich bei Ihnen. Komm, Reggie. Wir müssen sie aufhalten. Alle Panzer sammeln.
I've been mute for this whole time, haven't I? Crap! I can't bring it down. I apologize for not speaking that entire time. Ah, yes. The Flying Pancake is another real aircraft that we get to fly. Oh, Lord, the Flying Pancake. From examining the bomber wreckage near Stalingrad, the SOE was able to confirm its worst fears. Germany had indeed produced several working prototypes of a new bomber, one that could strike targets inside North America. This enormous craft, capable of delivering a devastating payload, was designated the Junkers 390. Full production of this new bomber had recently commenced at an unidentified factory. The Battle Hawks were called upon to locate and destroy the facility with all due haste. I'm sure I have a Focke Wolf 190. I can now double the cannon magazine on any plane. 
You beautiful It'll bastard. It'll cost you the usual, though. One upgrade requisition per plane. You beautiful bastard. Yeah, I've got the focal wolf right here. And here's the flying pancake. All right, let's get into the info. The Transvol XF. 5U-1 Flying Pancake is a uniquely designed low-profile fuselage aircraft. It allowed it to fly extremely low and it allowed it to fly at extremely low altitudes as well as flying at extremely low and high-speed flight. The slow minimum speed allowed for unparalleled short takeoffs and it was armed with four 20mm cannons. It was perfect for ground attack missions. Sadly, it was only ever a prototype. Thank you to the Soviets for allowing us to keep the eel. I will take care of that uh, later, I suppose. February 20th, 1943. It's been confirmed. Nemesis has developed a new long-range bomber called the Junkers 390. Worse yet, these bombers are in full production. Given his presence at Stalingrad, I'm sure Krieger is running the show. Needless to say, with a threat like this, we're going to need to find it and hit it hard. The White Rose was dropped behind enemy lines. With her usual efficiency, she has discovered the location of the bomber production facility. It's in eastern Germany, out of effective range of our B-17s, so we've been given the job. This will be our first strike at Nemesis' home base, so I'm looking forward to leading the way. I'll be flying in low and slow to avoid enemy air patrols. If I get the jump on them, I'll cook those bombers in their hangars and incinerate the factory. You're going to want to use the flying pancake. Believe it or not, this thing has better speed. Almost the same speed as the Focke Wolf. Slightly less firepower. And again, this is pre-upgrades. Field up, field up, field up, field up. The new field up, the new field up. Your air, your air, the new field upgrade is come. Field upgrade up. Your aircraft has been modified with the upgrade you requested. Okay, now it's faster than a Falco Wolf. Christ almighty, I can see why our latest edition is called a flying pancake. It possesses some unique qualities that make it ideal for the upcoming mission. Its variable airspeed gives it the ability to... Oh, very you're still slow. streaming. It's also hard to spot. Making it Biz? perfect for a stealthy approach. Hey there. If the pancake is not your liking, feel free to select an alternative aircraft. Yes, I'm still streaming. And I'm on mission ten of fifteen. Oh, so you're on the end, eh? Nope. I am on mission ten of fifteen. Yeah, so you're five missions away. You're uh, saying it's still not close to being done with the whole game? It has been seven hours, my guy. It took me seven hours to get to mission 10 of this game. Anyways, have a look. This is the Flying Pancake. Yep. Drink it in. I'm not even watching stream at the moment. I'm still in this um, Xbox PC right now. Well, take a look on stream on uh, YouTube whenever you can, because holy shit. I just want to see your reaction. Oh, no, I'm on the funeral still, everyone's. This is just incredible. It's fucking out tired. It's fucking six past one. Jeez, those are big rotors. Need I need to remind you that this is a plane. 
This plane yeah. never left the prototype phase. I can see why. That would not be very practical. Right. That would just be a plane with the sign of please hit me with a bomb or whatever the fuck they used. Here's the thing in... though, it was made to fly very low and very slowly, but it could also increase its speed to outrace a fucker wolf. I don't know what the fucker wolf is. The German superplane. One of the German superplanes. For your needs this time round, I'd recommend looks taking lovely. cannons or rockets. Either one can pierce anything the Jerry's have out there, even armored targets. I'm gonna take the cannon. Our objectives are simple. Breach the airspace, destroy the JU-390s and the factory within. And then we need to destroy a supply train and also a whole bunch of planes before they take off. You should be able to see the 390 factory ahead of you, Chase. But be careful. There are patrols everywhere. When the opportunity comes, you must move quickly. The bombers inside the hangars and the factory are the primary targets of this mission. The patrols haven't seen you yet. Now is the time for you to strike while they are still unaware. Low and slow. That should be low enough. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Mm. Thank God for the speed up button. Otherwise, we'd be here for another six hours. <laughs> Factory is coming into sight. 20,000 feet away. So just under 10 miles. And right now, I am flying at a blistering 48 miles per hour. That's slow. That's very slow, especially for an aircraft. We must the hangar verteidigen. We should stationieren. What? We verlagern our flag to the hangar. There are multiple murders on the server. Almost there. 1400 feet to go. Ten thousand feet. We still haven't been spotted, which is good. That's the whole point of this aircraft. Its unique shape makes it so that it's invisible to radar for for the time. It's also very slow, making it very, very difficult to spot from the air. 
and its unique design also makes it blend, in, blend into the ground, further hiding it from the view above. It's one of the first ever stealth aircraft. Interesting. Destroying them will level the factory. The hangars are sealed up tight. You'll have to blow the doors off. Damn it. It's a good thing I just had a checkpoint. Destroy the remaining bombers and our work will be finished. Das Flugzeug darf die 390er Hänger nicht erreichen. Wir brauchen diese Maschinen. So much for the doors. Ah, this is the part of the mission I don't like. Back to the checkpoint. Destroy the remaining bombers and our work will be finished. Take out all the anti-aircraft guns. Then I'll go for the hangars once everything else is destroyed. That's my plan, at least.
Here comes our bonus objective. Destroy these planes before they leave the ground. What? What? Damn it. Destroy the remaining bombers and our work will be finished. Uh, I was doing so well. Have fun farm. How many more hours have we done now? Okay, that's it.
Who else wants some? <sighs> now I gotta wait for more of those stupid 110s to show up. There we go. There's one. Alright. Never did. All right. Time to go and land this thing, rearm, get my health back, because that was a lot.
More cannons, please. Back to the mission. You won't get in the air. I won't let you. Now die. Nemesis fighters, Chase, hurry. They'll be here any minute. Good. Finally, worthy opponents. Let's go. There you are. Hello there, boys. Come for a rematch? So, Rose, about those fighters. Told you you didn't have to worry at all.
All anti-aircraft guns are down. Alright, time for the most difficult part of this mission. Oh, it's empty. What? You are. Boots, Nash. They müssen den verdammten Zug hier wegbringen. Train, you say? Did you hear that? The supply train chase. Stop it. It's carrying equipment for the planes. On the way. To please. Now then. I really should. Just so I don't accidentally have to do this whole thing all over again, because we're so close to being done. Alright. Almost there. Just a couple more. Literally just two more. Last one. He's a very brave or extremely foolish to interfere with my projects. I can assure you, American, irgendwann bist du fertig. I will see you under the clouds soon enough. Bring it on, Kraut. We've been promoted to captain, baby. Yes, I'm going to save. I expect this may take another two hours. I don't even know anymore.
Given the results of the Battlehawks' last missions, the SOE had confirmed that a transatlantic bomber was being built. And now they had suspicions that its purpose was even more menacing. Dr. Bohr revealed that the Germans had been using the Norsk hydro plant in Norway to manufacture deuterium oxide, a substance crucial to their atomic research. This material, also called heavy water, put the terrifying prospect of an atomic bomb within the grasp of the Third Reich. The SOE knew that this factory, the only known source of heavy water, had to be demolished. The Germans carrying atomic bombs in those gigantic bombers. Isn't that a scary thought? Pauline must like to put her hide at risk, but I will say she has plenty of fire. She told me in confidence that she's discovered some equipment that was left behind in Nemesis' hasty evacuation of its airfield. Classic Pauline. She wants to make a daring flight for this stuff so she can use it for our aircraft upgrade. Rourke doesn't have any idea about this little excursion, and if I tell him about it, she'll likely be grounded. Well, no one likes a stool pigeon, so I'm going to cover her on this crazy scheme while she flies in and out of that airstrip. Your choice. Seeing how the pancake is faster than the focal wolf, I'm going with it. Anything you choose, I'll put on your plane. I'm gonna have to make this stream part one, aren't I? Okay. After the next so mission, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna set this baby down at the abandoned Jerry airfield. Then my commando friends will hop out and load up any crates that the Germans left behind. I'll take point and scout ahead. Chase, you stay back and cover Pauline. No, Jackson. They must have sent a patrol back to check on their abandoned airfield. I got the CDA gun. Jesus, it's a top of shit out. Not much left in now. There's our objective. There's our secondary objective right there. Kubelwagens. Blow them the hell up. Erledigen Sie zuerst den Gleitschutz. Dann ist das Transportflugzeug ein leichtes Ziel. Konzentrieren Sie sich auf den Jäger. I call abandon a poor choice of words. Jackson, you're useless. The 
I want to get the Kubo wagons very, very badly. God damn it. Leave Pauline alone. One more, one more, come on. There it is, I see it. Now I gotta worry about. Wait a minute. Chase, we've made out some bombers headed our way. They're gonna try to hit us on the ground. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Too bad. They're going to have to let us go. Because I'm going to shoot you down now. Bye bye. Yonkas, here? Pauline, time to get your ass in gear. got the new plane in the hangar the XP 56 black bullet Check out this black bullet.
The Northup XP-56 Black Bullet is another experimental American fighter. It had a very unusual flying wing design and a new rear-mounted engine. It didn't get past the prototype stage. It did provide the company with valuable experience that would later apply to late that would apply to other flying designs. Oh, the pancake's faster. Bleh. Bleh. Oh, well. Let's take it out for a test drive in Operation Big Bang. We captured the German airfield outside of Stalingrad. Our Soviet counterparts have doggedly defended their homeland. Now they're poised to stage a counterattack. They are more than capable, and we did work well together. In the spirit of friendly competition, however, one of the Soviet aces, a woman of extraordinary skill and beauty named Lillian, has singled me out. Her expertise in train busting is notorious amongst her peers. She's challenged me to keep up with her in a ground attack mission. I say, why not? It's good for international relations and decidedly bad for the Germans. Ain't that the truth? Your choice. They're all ready and waiting. Anything you choose, I'll put on your plane. Our mission is simple. Outscore Ilya. Lilia. Blah, blah, blah. I'm tired. Forgive me. It's been almost eight hours. have begun their journey to the front. We must destroy them to prevent the resupply of forces attacking Stalingrad. In favor of diplomacy, how about a friendly wager? My thinking is this. You will be the victor if you can destroy more enemy targets in five minutes. You ready? Well then, ni buha ni pira. That's a building. I mistook that for snow. In favor of diplomacy, how about a friendly wager? My thinking is this. You will be the victor if you can destroy more enemy targets in five minutes. You ready? Well then, ni buha ni pira.
Ooh, building, building. Not this time. Twenty for me, Ilya. Step up your game. Here comes number 25, Ilya. I'm gonna go out to the Yonkas. Excuse me, bitch. Thirty. Thirty targets, Ilya. Trucks and Kubel wagons, oh my! You mean leaving mission area? That's where the tr that's where the train is.
I have doubled your score, Ilya. So the bonus skill, the bonus uh, task was to destroy the planes before they took off. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be heading on to the next mission, beating it, and then calling it a night because it's been eight hours. I'm going to be so sad if this video doesn't do very well. February 2nd, 1944. What I just heard from Orc is terrifying. The Junkers 390 bombers we destroyed were designed to carry a special weapon, a new type of greatly destructive bomb. It has something to do with a new form of energy that the Danish scientist was an expert in. Rourke called it an atomic bomb. No doubt Nemesis is involved in it. All of our unit's resources have been shifted to put a stop to this threat. The one hope we have of stopping them is that Trevor's alive and back with us. It's unbelievable. Together, we'll stop those nemesis SOBs. We're heading into Norway to destroy the only factory where a key component called heavy water is processed. The big problem is the target's location, deep in a canyon, surrounded by AA guns. The plan is for Pauline to drop in royal commandos to destroy it. But before she can do this, we must destroy the AA defense and any enemy presence on the ground. Once the factory is blown, she'll land to retrieve the commandos. I've got to cover her all the way. Her C-47 is one large target. Norway, fjords, heavily defended positions. Sounds like a sticky wicket. Take something that's agile and can hold up on the Akak fire. Believe it or not, the game is right. The best chance you have in this mission is a mosquito. And this is my favorite side weapon in the game. We've got these bombs called a highball. They bounce on water, so they're perfect for ships and other targets near or on the water. They also make a loud bang, if you know what I mean. These were designed to go over the uh, nets that were used to prevent torpedoes from entering dams and blowing them up. A engineer was on vacation with his family, trying to think of how to get past this problem, and he saw his sons skipping stones over the water and thought, wait a minute, what if I attach a bomb to that? <laughs> so, this mission is where things get serious. Trevor, it's great to have you back. How'd you make it out of the jungle? It's a long story, and someday I'll tell you both. For now, let's get down to business. Chase, Pauline needs us to clear the AA around the factory. Don't forget about the dam's generators. Right. Get your ordnance down that chute between the generators to destroy them. They must be destroyed before our boys can blow the factory. is coming over the dam. Looks like two of them. I'll take them out. Battery 
Ah, uh, yes. The thing about the highball is, you've only you can only drop it a hundred feet up or lower. It sucks. But the good thing is, I don't think there's a limit to how fast you can go while you drop it. Bullseye! And it looks like the answer is you can drop them at any speed. Instantly makes them better than torpedoes. Keep in mind, they're not just for in for uh, ship stuff. And that's one thing I hate about them. They go right over the targets. Okay, go to the partisan airfield.
That is a very short runway, but I'll take it. I recommend you take your cannons now. You're going to want them for what's coming up. Just trust me. You're going to want every advantage you can take. Are you serious? Oh, come on. Ow. The tanks were empty? Shit. The water must have been moved before we arrived. Heading to extraction zone. Out. Understood. Hop him in this year. Boya! I'm dropping low, boys. Heading in from downriver.
90s are strafing the trucks, Chase. Come on. Every advantage you can get, you better take it. Might as well refuel. All commanders are taking off. Yeah, we're receiving you. Our C-47 is going to need an escort back to base. Can you oblige? No, sir. 
We'll shoot them down. Behold the Messerschmitt 262 jet aircraft. Get out of here. Your bonus objective is simple. Shoot down all the 262s. their ass, Trevor.
How far are you now? Uh, 12. And how many do you still need to complete the game? 15 in total, so three more after this, but I'm not going to stay up all night doing this. Yeah, I was going to say for me, it's almost 30 past two. So I'm already going to leave you see, I was just, just going to do a short checkup. Right now I'm fighting jet aircraft inside of a prop plane. And I'm winning. Hold on, where is that airfield? Strange, there should be another one closer than this. Perfect. I'm over here. First ever jet aircraft that was more than that was widely produced. The Messerschmitt 262 is one of the fastest things in the sky. And it is also one of the most terrifying super weapons that the that uh, the funny mustache man ever devised. comes another one right at me. Look at how fast they're flying at normal speed. Oh, that's not fair! You shouldn't be allowed to leave the mission area. It's bullshit. Because guess what? One of our bonus goals is actually shooting them down.
Okay. I think you're the last one. God damn it, that's not fair. All right, now all we gotta do is take out the fairies and we're done. Piece of cake. Okay, last one. Never, just, just, just take care of it for us, please. Trevor, you're useless. That's it, all fairies destroyed. Einige meiner Fähiger und Untergebenen konnten eine der Fähren retten. Sie werden mir nach ihrer Rückkehr erklären müssen, warum sie so jämmerlich versagt haben. Distinguished Service Cross has been rewarded. We've earned six upgrades. And I have earned the right to say, I'm gonna call it here because it's been eight hours and 20 minutes. So, join me tomorrow for when we finish this game. But until then, be sure to make an impact in someone's life today and make it a great one. Catch you all later.